It's time for the parade in Pasadena. Tradition meets college football action in one epic bowl game. And with DraftKings Sportsbook, you can make every play count. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets just for betting $5 on college football. Download the app now. Use code SHANNON. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bet for just betting 5 bucks on college football. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SHANNON. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us for the final episode of Nightcap 2023. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, route runner extraordinaire, bingo ring of famer, yeah. bingo legend, mm. Chad Ocho Cinco legend. Johnson. Thank you again. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make, he, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We want to thank you. In a very short time, we are now at officially 591,000 subscribers. And that's because of you. Please make sure y'all subscribe through the Nightcap podcast feed. You can also subscribe through the Club Shay Shay podcast feed. Oh, hell, why you at it? Just go ahead and get both of them. Subscribe to both of them. We would greatly appreciate it. We've also pinned Shay by Laportier link at the top of the chat. It's New Year's. It won't be here, but guess what? Valentine's Day, uh, St. Patrick's Day, uh, President's Day. Mm -hmm. You can get you a box. Yeah, yeah, you can get your bottle for you or someone that's very, very special in your life and your aunt would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because our schedule this week is going to be a little quirky and we want to make sure that you don't miss don't miss an episode of Nightcap. This is our final episode. This is going to probably be our best Mm -hmm. episode. That's why we say the best for last. Yeah. The final Nightcap of 2023. We can't wait for 2024 because. We have an idea of what we're supposed to do now, Ocho. And so 2024 is going to be bigger, Mm -hmm. better, and uh, now we're off and running. So let's get to the game right that that just ended. Packers beat the Vikes. They go to Minnesota, beat them 33-10. The Packers end the season, uh, uh, 2023 season with a bang. Jordan Love looked very good, 24-33, 356, three pass touchdowns, a quarterback rating of 125. Jaden Reed, six catches, 89 yards, two TDs. Bo Melton, six catches, 105 and a touchdown. The Packers, that young A, and that's without Watson, who who many believe Mm -hmm. uh, uh, is their best receiver. Romeo Dobbs didn't get a whole Mm -hmm. lot involved tonight, but they got another young receiver in Heath, and then you throw Jaden Reed, Melton Mm -hmm. on top of that. They've got a nice young core of wide receivers, and we see you see Aaron Jones come back run the football effectively. Mm-hmm. We know he can catch it. Mm-hmm. He's a, a Swiss Army Knight. He can catch it. He can run it. He's great mm-hmm. in blitz, blitz pickup. Uh, Big Dylan, the big mm-hmm. bruising back to get you tough, yeah. short yardage. Mm-hmm. I like what the Packers possess offensively moving forward, and the defense is only going to get mm-hmm. better. So they go in, keep their slim playoff hopes alive, 33-10 by, 33-10 mm-hmm. by beating the uh, Minnesota Vikings. What did you like about what you saw from the Pack? Listen, the Packers, first of all, with the win next week, the Packers can obviously clinch a playoff spot if they yeah. beat the Bears next week. But offensively, what I what I saw from them with the ability to to run the ball, what I like to call mm-hmm. thunder and lightning, is a pair of running backs that they do have. Aaron, Aaron <clears throat> excuse me, my bro- brother Aaron and Mister Dylan being able to do, com- they they have two yes. different running styles, but they get it done differently. I, I like calling them thunder and lightning. One is quick and fast, and one is a bruising back that can that can bleed the clock for you. When you're able to run the ball the way that they did tonight, that's why the passing game mm-hmm. was so successful. That's why it was so successful. Then you have all the young bulls, the young bulls that are answering the call at every time they throw the ball. Jordan Love has to be not 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 licking and chopping. I'm trying to think of the word and really understanding that regards to who he goes to, they always come in, come in the clutch mm-hmm. for him every time. Deep balls, short balls, intermediate balls, everything – was working for them boys tonight simply because the running game was that successful. Yeah, Ocho, you have to feel very good. If I'm if I'm the uh, the Packers front office, uh, Brian Gudikins, oh yeah, who's the GM, uh, Mark mm-hmm. Murphy, who's the CEO of the Packers, you have to feel good with right. where you are. I don't think they're going to have a problem extending Jordan Love, considering when you look at these plethora mm-hmm. of young receivers that he has, mm-hmm. and I think he's shown you he you made the right decision. Uh, Aaron, Aaron gr- yeah. gave you 17, 18 great years. There's nothing, there's nothing to feel sad about. It was time for him to move on. Mm-hmm. Um, it was time for you guys to move on. 
He's in uh, uh, the Jets, and hopefully he can overcome that Achilles injury and get back on the field next year, and let's see what he can do for the Jets. But if I'm the Green Bay Packers, right. I love where, where I am with Jordan Love, these young receivers. Mm -hmm. uh, Aaron Jones ran the ball extremely well. You mentioned uh, A.J. Dillon, uh, Taylor ran the ball. They had 150, 150, 177. They had almost 190 yards rushing. So anytime you get 190 yeah. yards rushing and your quarterback 30, 24, 33, because now – we're going to throw the ball when we want to throw it. You're not dictating when we throw exactly. it. We're not behind. We're not behind right. the sticks and you force us to throw the ball. Mm -hmm. We throw it when we're ready. Mm -hmm. Area of the field, down and distance when we're ready because we have that kind of confidence in our offense. So the uh the, the Packers look very good. Um I thought the Vikings would mm -hmm. give a little bit more fight than what they put up, but you on your fifth I mean, or sixth uh, especially especially this is the funny thing about it. This is mm -hmm. this is weird to me. Usually when it's a division opponent, sometimes the game goes very seldom. Is it lopsided and one-sided like it was tonight? Because you're familiar with mm -hmm. what they're going to do. You know, obviously when you play a division opponent, you throw in a right. different wrinkle or two. You know, most of the time it's the same stuff, just right. different formation sets and little, I yeah. call it salad dressing, you know, mm -hmm. to, to throw them off. But you're familiar with a team that you're playing that you see twice a year and for it to be one-sided throughout the entirety of the game, until what the last few minutes when they when the Vikings were yeah, able to score in yeah. garbage time, Muff the punt, Packers. Yeah. Again, the quarter the the quarterback carousel doesn't make it no, no better. It doesn't make it no better. Obviously, you you start with uh, what was the first quarterback Kirk, name? Cousins. Yeah. No, not not Kirk. Yeah, Kirk. Got, not, he not, tore not the Kirk. he tore the Achilles. I mean, I mean, no, the one who started. Oh, the first oh, half you talking about Mullins? And then they switched. You're about they Mullins. Switched. Nick Mullins. Yeah, Mullins. Yeah. And it just the. Justin Jefferson did what he could. He he did what he could do. They tried to get him the ball. He wasn't as efficient. I mean, we can't have a one man show. Mm -hmm. That that ain't gonna never work. They can't have a one man show. They could they couldn't run the ball efficiently, and obviously the offense sputtered. Uh, I can see the frustration on Justin Jefferson's face, but I, I think he'll be he'll be fine next year. Maybe uh, oh, now you like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I I like I like it, but I, again, I prefer the Steelers for him. Just based on history and what they've been able to do when it when it comes to playoffs and Super Bowl wins, but other than that, in Minnesota, I think they're going to be fine as long as they make sure they take care of the quarterback position because right now they don't have they an don't. answer. And the uh, uh, it's it's a rarity that you can have your starting quarterback go down and then the backup comes in and he mm -hmm. plays really well for an extended period of time. Um, right. Cincinnati has to feel very good with the the showing, even though they lost mm -hmm. today. But I think Jake Browning has acquitted himself very well. Uh, he's gonna. He's showing that I'm able to stick around. I can make plays, given an opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, and he picked up some plays with his legs because you know the thing is, uh, Joe is mm -hmm. pretty uh, pretty athletic also. So I'm not gonna say Joe yeah. wouldn't have or couldn't have picked up those plays because Joe is ath more athletic than you think. But but you see today, right. Jake Browning didn't have a problem tucking the ball. Yeah, I think he got like three first down on five scrambles. Um, but at the end, his mm -hmm. offensive line just couldn't hold up, and they, they they sacked him like five of the last six possession, a drop back pass attempt. So, uh, Middle, yeah. Green Bay keep their playoffs hopes alive. Thirty three ten over the Minnesota Vikings. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, I'm gonna get to the David Tepper incident, but let's go to the Ravens because I thought I, I think over the last yeah. couple, the last Whoa. couple of weeks they've been the most impressive, and I don't think if you look at the stretch that they've had. Even when San Francisco uh, right. beat the brakes off the Cowboys, they went to the Eagles and beat the brakes off mm -hmm. them. Uh, they went to Jacksonville right. and they beat some teams. But if you look at what the Ravens mm -hmm. have done, they did a demolition job. Hold on, let me find this game up here. It right there. You know, you know, I feel like the Minority Report. When you drop, <laughs> this is the second best team now. Remind, remember now, they went on the road last week and beat the number one team mm -hmm. by fourteen. This mm -hmm. is the second best team yeah. in the AFC, and they dropped fifty. Right, offensively, o offensively, They're the second best team in the AFC. You said right. the, uh, Miami Dolphins were the second best team in the AFC. That's what you've been telling me for the last six weeks. Offensively, so, offensively, so, yes. So, so where, so where did they rank uh, as a team in the AFC before you saw Baltimore do what they did today? Where would you rank Miami? Because that's not what you've been saying. Go ahead. Oh, I remember what I've been, I've been ranking. The Miami Dolphins extremely high because of Tua, Tyreek, and what they've been able to do offensively. The defense is okay. It's okay. It's not the type of defense like Baltimore has, where there's no weak link right. anywhere. Well, who have a, well, interior, who have a complete the team? They're only, I mean, you have to look at San Francisco to say they're as complete from top yeah. to bottom as the Baltimore yeah. Ravens. Yeah. But top to bottom, at, yeah, 
Yeah, and you saw what you saw what the yeah, Ravens that's did what I'm today, saying. huh? But we had Miami yeah. and everybody's power ranking polls. The Miami Dolphins were the third best team, or no worse than fourth of all the teams ranked. Fourth, now, right, right. if you in the AFC, right. they were second best, and they just got fifty six mm-hmm. hung on them. And, yeah, man. And and, and, hey. and so you look at Baltimore. You look at what they did to Detroit. You look at what they did to Seattle. Mm-hmm. You look at what they did to San Francisco. Right. You look at what they did to Miami. Mm-hmm. This is a team that you don't want to fool with because they can run it. You look at what they yeah. had. Gus Edwards, 16 rushes, 66 yards. Hill, three rushes, 45 yards. Lamar Jackson, six for 35. Mm-hmm. Melvin Gordon even got into the action. He only had 10 yards, that long of seven, but he got into yeah. he got a touchdown. Um, Lamar mm-hmm. Jackson, 15 of 21, 321, five touchdowns. A perfect Q back rating. The That's his third one. Un, yeah, no, this no. season. That's this his season. third one of his career. In general, oh, in, in general, okay. Same okay, okay, as okay, Peyton okay. Manning. The same as Tom Brady. Right. The same as Kurt Warner. Mm. All those guys are retired. So Lamar Jackson has an opportunity. Right. It's something about Miami because he had another perfect quarterback mm-hmm. rating against Miami. You remember he opened up the season in 2019 right. when he won the MVP. 19. He threw for five touchdowns. Indeed. Yeah, that season. And so it's something yeah. about Miami. Maybe he's like, man, y'all should have took me. Maybe it's a, he know all the, the, the homies mm-hmm. and the family. He's from that area. Right. They're watching yeah. him play. Right. And so he put on the show. Mm-hmm. But the Ravens the Ravens put everybody on notice last week with what they did. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, yeah. They yeah, had everybody's undivided attention, Ocho, because Monday night, you know everybody, mm-hmm. they ain't know the game on. So they did what yeah. they did to the 49ers. Many believe that was the best team in football, and they beat them by two touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Now we come, and yeah. everybody has started to feel good about the Dolphins because they had just beat the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. And, bro, yeah. you got 56 dropped on you? Yeah, yeah. And listen, it's 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 different. It's different. I don't I don't know how to explain it. It's something about the Ravens. Obviously, defense that AFC North, they play a different kind of football. They play a different kind of football defensively. I'm gonna just start there. They play a different kind of football defensively. Then on the flip side of things, the supporting cast that Lamar Jackson has now. The, the year that he won the MVP in 2019, it's oh, yeah. that much better. We, he didn't, the onus in having to have success offensively, is it, is it, it isn't Correct. all on his shoulders. Bateman coming through. Zay Flowers going crazy. Odell making clutch catches, doing what we're used yeah. to seeing him do. And the running game is efficient as well. So it's like there's a balance of everything. And then Lamar... He dropping back the pass and only running when he has to because everything else around him is efficient and working really well. And then the defense is playing phenomenal football. Man, Ocho, you look at what they did. Give Todd Munkin a lot of credit. Um, the way he's come yeah. in, he's uh, put Lamar in a system where mm-hmm. Lamar feels very, very comfortable. We know Lamar has legs. We mm-hmm. know the Ravens can run the football. But now it's a lot of five-man yeah. out. It's not dependent on the tight end, mm-hmm. um, even though. And I think some of the best, the best thing, and you hate to see Mark Andrews go out, but it forced Lamar to focus right. a little bit more on his receiver. Now he still has likely that can mm-hmm. go make plays for him. That one hand catch on fourth yeah. down to end up being a touchdown because it was a tremendous catch and run by him. But now they have receivers. Right. You look at a Zay Flowers, three catches, one hundred and six yards, seventy five mm-hmm. yards, just uh, crazy. Yeah. I love Crazy what Todd work. Munkin did. They got the running back matched up on the linebacker. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> somebody having somebody having a uh, uh, child kid problems. <laughs> but the uh, the Ravens, man, they look good. The Ravens, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Ravens have won six straight games since week eleven. Uh, since a week eleven home loss to the uh, the uh, the Cleveland Browns, um, and. When you look at what they've done, they beat the number one team in the AFC, NFC, the number one team. I mean, I don't, that, that, that ain't, I mean, what the Ravens are doing, there's a difference between beating teams and beating teams up. Hey, baby, why are you crying? What, what, he, what, 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 daddy do? Say hi. <laughs> How you still up this time of night? Okay, go. Go play, go play with Sissy. Uh, and with and 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 Ocho, I was telling, I was telling the uh, um, our listeners right. and not in, uh, in the chat. I said there's a difference between beating teams and then beating teams up. Right, they're beating teams up. 
Right, right, right. They're right. physically, they're uh-huh. physically. And that's the one thing about the Ravens. If you beat yeah. the Ravens, you got to out physical. And they, they, they ain't cute. Yeah, they ain't definitely. gonna do all that razzle dazzle. They ain't got a whole bunch of trick plays. Mm-hmm. They line up and they punch you in the mouth. Mm-hmm. And then you better punch Listen, them back. Right, right in the mouth. And, and you know what the funny thing about it is the AFC yeah. North has always been like that. It's always been like that. I like I always I always call it a two chin strap game. Anytime we had to play a division opponent, we had to play the Steelers, you had to play the Browns, or you had to play the Ravens. You got to bring mm-hmm. your hard hat. You got to bring your hard hat because all that uh playing pretty and 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 in hitting people and getting up and tapping them on the shoulder, good ain't none, ain't none of that. I mean, it's it's personal for some reason. It's personal every yeah. time you play them boys, and it's it showed today. It's a very oh, so you know game. the game. You know when the game flipped? When the Dolphins uh-huh. had to settle for that field goal, Tyreek had a touchdown and he bobbled it in the sun. Yeah. Right, right, now right, right, be- right, 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 right. And listen, the game started yes. off good though. Huh? I thought it was I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna yes. be a scoring fest back to back. And I tweeted it out. I said, you know what the Dolphins scored? I said, you know what? The Ravens yeah. gonna go back and answer. The Ravens mm-hmm. are going to go down and answer because it always happens like that when the game starts out until the defenses the defenses settle in, and then from that point on it becomes the chess match between the coordinators. I'm gonna put my pieces in a better position to beat your pieces, and you go from there. Then after Tyreek after Tyreek bobbled that ball and they had to get a field goal, man, it was it was it was a runaway and, train and, from and that Tua point started on. Turning the ball over, you know, I, uh, Ocho, right. you know, you and I, we kept those receipts, right? You know, we keep receipts. Yeah, Everybody yeah. keep a receipt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He had a good game. Mm-hmm. I keep receipts. Right. I keep receipts. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Baltimore say we kept receipts too. Receipts too. Um, right, right. You, you know what? On two of those interceptions, I, I don't know why, but every time the Dolphins line up in that tight split with a receiver, like yeah. on the outside mm-hmm. edge of the numbers on both sides, it's the same yeah. bang eight every time. The bang yep. eight like you used to run. Yeah. It, yes, baby. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Mm, I got you. Yeah, it, every time. And, and both times it ran the bang eight from the tight right. split. It was an interception. Because you, all they're going to do is they're going to fake both it, times. and they're going to try to hit. They're going to try to hit. And Roquan made a great yeah. play on the ball. And Roquan, he, he followed the eyes the first time. And the second time, it was another pick. And even if he did complete it, it was going to be an interception because the exactly. DB was right there on it. He ran the and route. He was throwing, and and they, they were bothering uh, uh, Tua because Tua was high. He got yeah. he almost got Tyreek yeah. hurt on that sideline throw. He overthrew him and Tyreek tried to make mm-hmm. a play on the ball. Yeah. yeah. So he he was really yeah. high today. Yeah. Uh people are bringing up Lamar's stat. Lamar Jackson is tied for 10th in passing touchdowns, 24. He's ranked 13th mm-hmm. in passing yards, mm-hmm. 3,678. Only two quarterbacks have ever right. won the MVP while finishing outside of the top five in both categories. Steve McNair did in 2003 and Bart Starr in 1966. Right. But I think because the Ravens have been so good. And Lamar Jackson has been his. Mm-hmm. He's not going to have forty touchdowns, ladies and gentlemen. He's not going to throw for forty five. The offense, the, the no, offense isn't even no. built like that. But anyway. what he's done, if because when you go back mm-hmm. and look at the Lions are going to the playoff, they're the number, they're they're uh, uh they're the third mm-hmm. seed in the NFC. He took them apart. Right. It looks like Seattle have a chance mm-hmm. to make the playoffs. He took them apart. The Forty yeah. Nineers are the number one seed. Mm-hmm. He took them apart. Miami mm-hmm. have. Have Listen, an opportunity to win the division and be the number two seed in the AFC. Right. He took them apart. See, so when you look apart, at his yeah. body of work and the teams that he did a mm-hmm. number on, I don't know who else right. you can give the MVP to. Mm-hmm. You, you you have to give it to him because obviously we were talking Purdy. We were screaming Purdy. We were screaming Purdy. We were screaming Purdy. Then we were screaming Dak. I thought the 49ers looked like a team that right. wasn't going to lose. I almost had them locked. They go to Vegas yeah. and win in Lombardi based on the way they were playing offensively and the way they were playing defensively. I'm like, ain't no way in hell anybody going to beat them. Then I think about, then the mm-hmm. Ravens come into town. Oh my goodness. It, it's almost as if they don't even belong on the, on the right. field with them boys. That, yeah. That's what it looked like. They dominated on both sides of the ball. All three phases of the game. They dominated offense. They dom- dominated special teams and they right. dominated on, on defense. Then they come back again and do the same thing today to the it, Dolphins. It, see, the Dolphins got questions, Ocho, because you remember early in the season, they went on the road to Buffalo, and Buffalo dropped a 50 bomb on them. After they had just yeah, dropped yeah. 70 on the Broncos. And I was like, ah. Now, mm-hmm. it, it kind of eased people's mind a little bit because they beat the Cowboys because that was at home, and that's the only team that they've beaten right. with a winning record. But now winning you, record, have, yeah, you right, have to right. have even more questions than answers because they went on the road and they mm-hmm. didn't they didn't look like they belong in forget in the same book 
they don't even belong on the same mm -hmm. shelf as the Ravens. The Ravens took them apart. Right. Outside of the first quarter, the game yeah. was never was never close. I don't think it was in anybody's mind, a close. doubt in anyone's mind, that the Ravens were going to win this right. game. The question was how much. Mm -hmm. Now I did. I picked the Ravens to win this game. I didn't think that. I don't think anybody had it fifty six nineteen. No joke. No, 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 not not by that much. Obviously, with with as efficient as efficient as the the Dolphins' offense has been all all season long, I expect it to be a shootout, mm -hmm. a continuous shootout. Kind of like last year with me. Week two last age. year, it ended up being Bingo. what forty two, forty five, yeah. thirty eight, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what with the defense, what the Raven defense was able to do, they were able to make two uncomfortable. They were able to get him off his spot, so he couldn't sit and make some of the throws. Being that he's a He's a time. He's a timing passer, and that offense it relies on timing a lot. But he wouldn't. He would, his timing was thrown off the entire time yeah. because of the defense. And they did a great job. Uh, uh, and he, and they did this without Marlon Humphrey for a large part of the game because he went out like yeah. the first se first yeah. and second series, and so mm -hmm. they were able to do this yeah. uh, without Hump. Um, yeah, the Dolphins got some mm -hmm. questions. So now, uh, the question is, what Miami Dolphins team is going to show up at home? Because the winner of the Buffalo Miami, yeah. that's who's going to win the division. Yeah, you you think you think after ha after getting the fifty burger, I call it a fifty burger. After after they got had a fifty burger hung on them the first time, there's no way in hell they allow the Bills to come in town and hang another fifty well, burger on them again. So this is a game that they have to win because this is this is as close to the playoffs yeah. as you're going to get because these are the type of teams that you're going to play. It's a division opponent. You know them very very well. And I don't think it'll be a high scoring game as it was the first time, but you got it. You got to show up. You got to show up. The, the offensive line has to give Tua time to throw, to step into his throws. They got to move Tyreek around. Brother Wilson has to show up. Robbie Anderson, Brother Claypool, Jalen Waddle will be back as well. And I think they'll be fine. Hope uh, Mostert, who has, I think, maybe mm -hmm. a knee or maybe an ankle problem, they should have the, their entire squad back for that game. So they Yo, should be uh, fine. Uh, a Chan um ran the ball extremely well. He was uh 14 carries, 107 yeah. yards. So they they were they were more mm -hmm. than adequate in the run game. But kind of when you fall behind Ocho, right. you're at the mercy of the pass game. So now you got to mm -hmm. pass to th to try yeah. to get back into the ball game. The Ravens know you have to pass right. the football. So now they're really pressuring Tua. And he's not a guy, he's not very mobile. He can slide a little bit, but he's not yeah. a guy that you you're you're yeah. afraid of taking off that he jumps out the window. He's gonna take off and kill you with his legs. <laughs> uh, yeah, the uh, right. Buffalo beat them. For, if I'm not mistaken, I think the score was 48 20. The question is, which quarterback is going to take better care of the football? Both of these quarterbacks have the propensity of turning the ball over. Josh Allen, Turn they the got over, lucky right. today that they were playing the New England Patriots, and ba Bailey Zappi mm -hmm. turned the ball over three times in like four possessions. And then right. Josh Allen let them right back in the game by turning the ball over himself. We saw two. Mm -hmm. Both of these guys have a propensity. They can have anywhere between one and four turnovers at the drop of a hat. You turn the ball over right. multiple times, that's the team that's going to probably end up losing the game. And so it's going to be very mm -hmm. interesting to see which team can take care of the football the best and make because that's the team that's going to mm -hmm. win this division. Yeah. I mean, the fact that they are playing that last game at home here in Miami at Hard Rock, I think that might give them the edge a little bit. It mm -hmm. might give them the edge a little bit, finishing it off the right way. Obviously, knowing you're going to the playoffs, the implications that are at stake in this game, you got to show up and yeah. play good football and protect the ball. And I'm sure, I'm sure Tua knows that. Mike Medano is going to stress that to him throughout the entire uh, game. The Eagles lose to the Cardinals. The Cardinals had the easiest closing football schedule, had the close the easiest closing schedule uh in football, according mm -hmm. to ESPN Power Football Index. They just needed wins over the Cardinals, four and twelve. The New York Giants five and eleven to secure the NFC East title for the second consecutive year. Something that hadn't been done, I think, since two thousand and one or two. It's been like twenty years since a team have won back to back right. NFC East titles. Now the Cowboys are in the catbird seat. All they need to do mm -hmm. is go to Washington, beat the Commanders, mm -hmm. and they clinch the division and they become the number two seed. Yeah. Uh, what happened? What no, happened to the Eagles today? I because I, I I saw you I saw your tweet. Eagles fans, do y'all no. want to listen to me now? Oh. Are you gonna listen to me now? Or do you oh, still think you remember, oh, you remember I, I told her three months ago? Yes, oh, we winning. You yeah. don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Shut up, big mouth. You just mm -hmm. hating. Okay, <laughs> now 
I right. see because what was happening, Ocho, I was watching the game very closely. And I'm telling what fans do. They watch yes, as long as the team scores or they get a sack and they win, they're mm -hmm. happy. But I'm looking at it with a, little, with right. a, 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 a finer eye. And I saw some things. Mm -hmm. I said, that defense isn't the same. I said, right. I said the thing is, I said, they can't. I said, now, when Jalen Hurst started turning the ball, now, he didn't. He wasn't bad at that. He got, they turned the ball over one time. And 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 Kyle Murray gave up a 99 yard pick six. But this defense, mm. they can't take the ball away like they took it away last year. And they don't right. run the ball like they ran it last year. So when, when you efficient. can't right, possess right. the football, if you got a bad unit, and let's just say your defense is bad and you can't run the football, mm -hmm. you know what happens with three and outs? You put that bad unit back on the field. Yeah. On the field. They had to leave. Yeah. And Kyler Murray went down there with ease and got a game-winning touchdown. Yeah. With ease. Mm -hmm. So now right. you're going to have to, you know, you get a game. You, no. Hold on. You're going to be on the road. Yeah. Now nah, they'll be the wild card, so they'll be the four seed. They'll be the five seed because only one team get a buy. The Cowboys win. They'll be the two seed. The Lions will be the three seed. And see. who's going to be the four? 49ers, 49ers is one, seed. they get to buy. Cowboys is two, right. Lions is three, and the and the the Bucks and the NFC and the AFC and the NFC South, the Bucks, uh, mm -hmm. the Saints or the Falcons will be the four seed. So now the Lions right. are the five seed. Now you feel pretty good because don't you think the Lions can go on the road and beat the Bucks, can beat the uh, Saints, can beat the Falcons? Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, listen, you, you, you would think that, right. but, you know, come playoff time, this is, it, you know what it is. Any given Sunday, ain't no telling what's going to happen. You never mm -hmm. know what team is going to show up. But the way Baker, Baker Mayfield has been playing, I wouldn't want to see the Bucs. He looked bad today. I wouldn't want to see the Bucs. They look bad yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. The Saints got, the Saints they, got after him. The Saints got after him. The Saints got after him. The Saints got after him. Yeah, they, yeah. They, got, they, got, they, got, they got after him today and uh, uh, and roughed him up a little bit. He ended up losing the game. Um, he ended up, excuse me, not losing mm -hmm. the game, leaving the game. He took took a vicious shot from right. uh, the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, and uh, he ended up having to leave the game. But the Eagles started the season ten and one, ten and one. Now they're one and four yeah. in the last in the last five games. Last five games, yeah. Do do they have enough time? No. to fix no. whatever the issues are. Obviously, you know the defense. We need we we need sacks. We need turnovers. We need. We need what we had last year. Offensively, being able to establish the run to open up the pass to make it mm -hmm. easier that way. Or do you think it's too late? I was even when they were full strength, I wasn't impressed with their back end because I thought their back end wasn't very right. good. And now Slay is out. Mm -hmm. Their back end isn't very good. They miss uh they miss Gardner Johnson. Right. Because he he, you know, he could take the ball away. Now that mm -hmm. I'm not impressed. The offensive line. Um, they don't run. They're not as violent as they were last year in the run game. Right. Um, yeah. I, and look, I understand they did lose both coordinators. That's something to be said. Uh, one of their coordinators went mm -hmm. to uh, Indy. The other coordinator went to uh, uh, the Cardinals. So that's something to be said. Mm -hmm. But that's no excuse. You start 10-1 and one and you're losing yeah. these games. But, but it wasn't a mm -hmm. problem. We didn't mention the coordinators when they was 10-1. and one. Ain't nobody mentioned nothing about the coordinators, did right. they, Ocho? Right, right, right. No, not at all. Listen, I, I don't I don't like really blaming the coordinators because there's a scheme mm -hmm. that they come up with, X is nose, and it's up to the Absolutely players to right. execute it, yep. regardless of what it is. Regardless of what it is. Um, only team in 35 years to start a season 10 or 1 or better and finish the season with five plus, plus losses, and that's what the Eagles are, 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 are staring at. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be very inter interesting to see if they can bounce back mm -hmm. and uh, get this thing right on the right track. But uh, that's not going to be an easy victory at, at the Giants because remember, they struggled to beat the Giants the other uh, 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 two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, you know the NFL is funny for some for some reason at times teams that are horrible, teams that have losing records, teams that haven't been playing good mm -hmm. all year long. When it comes to the nut nut, I call it nut cutting time late in the season, where it should be an easy win. They always seem up either struggling against those teams that aren't very good, or you end up losing playoff chances or hope, hopes against teams that are trying to spoil Ocho. your chance. Bro, misery loves company. I ain't going to the playoffs. 
I want you to clean out your locker tomorrow too. As a matter of fact, hey, what you got right. going on? What you got right. going on Monday, Tuesday? Because we both gonna be free, right? You know what I'm saying? We going right. home. You gonna be going yeah. home too. Yeah, I'm, I'm going not... home too. Hold on, uh, uh. let me let me let me lay her, let me lay her down. Let me lay her down. Yeah. So it's gonna be a very interesting. It, I, I'm anxious to see, um, how uh uh the Eagles, ladies and gentlemen, in, in the chat, how they play this out. Cause there's some doubt. Don't let the now. Nah, I know they're gonna take. We we got the people in this room. You been at them. You can't add anybody. They didn't take anybody out. I I get all that coach speak and oh, are we still confident? No, you're not. No, you're not. Your confidence has been shaken because you started ten and one, and everybody had you as the front runner. You're gonna repeat and yada yada yada. But it's not as simple as you think. I'm anxious to see what Miami. I'm I'm anxious to see Miami because there's a lot riding on it. The Cowboys has a chance to uh, uh, to sort up the number two seed and win the division. The Eagles, hey, we can win the game. Maybe Washington uh, uh, spring, springs a surprise, and then we get back right back into uh, uh, the division uh, and win the division. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see what we got. It's going to be very, very mm-hmm. interesting to see uh, what transpires uh, next weekend. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Hey, man, look right. at this one here, Unc. What we looking at? Jeremy? Hey, Rail! Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year Rail! Hold on, we got the other loot. I got the show. Yeah, baby. What you mean we got to bring it? I'm bringing in the New Year with on. Okay. Yeah, okay. y'all see that right there? That was bubbling. You hear the countdown? I can't hear. Two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year. I ain't got no drink. Happy New Year, chat. Ain't got no drink. Happy New Year. I, I love you. Chat, I love y'all. Happy New Year, Unc. I love you, baby. Happy New Year. All that good stuff. See, Unc got some glasses. I can't See, prepare. I, I, I love you, too. I got to remain <laughs> professional. You know what, Ocho? <laughs> all right, I'm going to pour Ocho a glass, y'all. All right. All right. That's good. That's New Year. Oh, let me, let me say my little prayer now. Let me take my head off. Yes, Check. happy uh, new year. Hopefully, 24 is 10 times better than 23. A lot of what we've yes, been able to yes, accomplish sir. is directly because of you. You tuned in, you stayed yeah. in, you come for the football, you stay for the stories. And Ocho and I and the stories. entire team at the volume, yeah. uh, Nightcap, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you for su- your support. And we look forward yeah. to uh, 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 2024 because we're going to be even better. Happy new year, everyone. Yeah. Happy New Year, chat. Yeah, for I you, Ojo. You. you know how I feel about you. I appreciate that. Just for me. Yeah, right. you know, I, don't, I don't drink. No, I ain't drink. Hey, I don't drink for no you, alcohol, Ojo. but I, tell, I appreciate that. Hey, chat, I pre- just for you. When we hit that million sub, <laughs> when, we hit, when we hit that million sub, Jeff, trust me, I'm going to drink some of that Cognac. I'm going to drink some of that Ooh. Cognac now. Believe know. that. What is this? What you, drink? what, what, what you old, drinking that's on? That's so bubbly. Yeah, yeah. Bubbly? What bubbly? What bubbly? What bubbly? That's mean? a champagne. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like it's, it's, nah, it's a little more. It ain't a real, real. Maybe when we get a million subs, we break out the real stuff. Oh, right. so you know what? Okay, yeah. You can yeah. post over this on some toes, huh? That uh, you know, what that is? Mold, you know, post over this. I can't get nobody. Nah, they ain't they. What's the name? What's the name of that? The what's day, the name they, of that? They ain't paid. They got to pay for advertising on here, Ocho. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Listen, you know what you could, you know, you know what you could pull what? over some toes. That cognac you just said, that cognac you could pull yeah. some, some of that. Oh, you yes, know what I'm saying, Ojo? What if I yes, pull, like, pull something down the back? Huh? You know what I'm saying, Ojo? And let it just run yeah. down. You know water. Wait a you minute. Know water listen, flows listen. Down here, right? Listen, now, you, now, see, yeah. I like where you're going with it. See, 2024, we got a new Shannon Sharp. Let me. You could pour it down her back, right, and catch it. Catch it as it go down, what? down, down the crack, down hey, the crack. For real, Ocho. Yeah, that yeah. thing like a waterfall, yeah. huh? Yeah. When TLC go to say, yeah, uh, "Don't so. go chase the waterfall." Yeah. I'm about to chase. I'm about to chase a yeah. champagne ain't, ain't, ain't no... <laughs> Yeah. There you go. There you go. I like. I like where you going with it this year. I, I like this new Shannon. Somebody, 2024. Somebody Let's go, baby. Trouble. He put trouble. Somebody in heap of trouble, Ocho. <laughs> they put it. 
Oh, Ooh, man. it's going to be a good oh, year. That's one thing about champagne. Uh, once once you pop the year. cork, you can't go back in there because the, that cork expands and, and popped up out of there. Yeah. Ocho, the 49ers clinch the top seed. They go on the road, beat Washington 27-10. Uh, Brock Purdy. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Let me, get, let me get it right here. Hold up. Oh, here it is right here. Uh, Brock Purdy, 22 or 28, 232 touchdowns. Uh, Brandon Ayuk had seven catches, 114 yards on a touchdown. Debo had 37 on a touchdown. They ran the football extremely, extremely well uh, today. Yeah. One, ooh, they had over 200 yards rushing. Let's see, one, that's 144, yeah. 75. Oh, they had about 185, 189 yards running the football. But that's what the 49ers do. They run the football. And then they yeah. throw the ball when they want mm -hmm. to. They don't let you dictate uh, uh, mm -hmm. when they're going to throw it. A la the Ravens made them throw it on their on their term. But the 49ers are the number one seed because the Eagles lost. The 49ers clinched the number one spot. Uh, what did you like? What what did you, you did you like what you see today? Did you like what you saw today? Yeah, mo, mo, I, yeah, I'm, I like I like what I saw. The 49ers were back on. What they're used to doing, obviously being able to run the ball, being efficient. You smoke mm -hmm. screens. Obviously, defense defense yep. played well. Um, Debo efficient. Ayuk he, doing Ayuk what Ayuk quietly had a very good year. Ocho. Brock, this, yeah, very 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 good year. Brock Purdy being able to escape and extend plays with his mm -hmm. legs, which is something we don't see often because the ball is normally yep. coming out fast. But he looked good today. Brock had a very, very good bounce back game. Very, very he good bounce that. back game. He needed that for his confidence. I mean, you play as well as poorly as he did on Monday night, and it's a bit yeah with them three yeah. interceptions. That that could be yeah. that could four be interceptions. Was, was it three or four? I that think he had four. They had five turnovers. But anyway, Ocho. But you know, it's a very short week because okay. you play yeah. on Monday, and now you got to get on a plane and fly cross country, which probably mm -hmm. means they left probably mm -hmm. Friday. So it's a very, very short week. Right. You probably had a quick walk through, and then you head you head to the uh, the East Coast. And he bounced back in, in grand fashion, 22 or 28, 232 touchdowns. Uh, mm -hmm. They ran the ball extremely well. McCaffrey did. Uh, he yeah. didn't get very much action, but Elijah Mitchell, uh, Mitchell ran the ball extremely well, 17 carries, 80 yards and a touchdown. McCaffrey was 14 carries, 64 yards. Uh, but he is over 2,000 yards from scrimmage, which is a very impressive feat in and of itself. But the San Francisco 49ers yeah. go on the road, defeat the Washington Commanders, and so up the number one seed in the NFC. So they will have a bye week. The question is, how do they play out the last game? The Rams need that game in order to make the playoffs. Do the 49ers mm -hmm. play their starters? Or do they rest their starters and take the time out? It's going to be very, very interesting. Um, what, what, would, what would you do if you were Shanahan? What would you that's, do? The, that's a long, because if I don't think about it, Ocho, if I don't play this week, I got a bye week. It's going to be mm -hmm. three weeks before I see real action. So you play him and I and play him for at least a half. Somebody, I mean, I got to play him at least a half. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I play him for. Okay. I mean, I mean, listen. After after sixteen weeks, after sixteen weeks of football, I think you should be able to at least play him yeah. in a half, and you not lose right. any momentum, even if you have a bye week. But I don't. I don't. That that to me that's scary. To me that's scary. Obviously playing week to week to week to week to week to week, and then having time off. Do you lose your momentum? Oh yeah, yeah. That's a long. That's the last three weeks, Ocho. That's a long. That's a long, yeah. long time. Because if you don't right. play this week, that's one week. You get the bye week. That's two weeks. Right now, you not play yeah. for three two whole weeks. weeks. We, yeah, and no football. And I, yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. that's tough. I, I don't. I I, I kind of don't. I kind of don't even like it. Do you know what the su su success rate of teams? Well, have I've done. I've been in a situation time? where I had it both ways. We took off one week and we lost in right. the divisional round. The next right. time around, Mike made sure we played. So, see that was that was a see. So that by the bye week really ain't a good thing then, really. But obviously, it's a short yes. route to the Super Bowl. Obviously, it's, it's a short route to the Super Bowl. The divisional, but I think, uh, 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 the, AF, the NFC championship, and then you're in the Super Bowl championship, right. and then the bowl. Right. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's great. It sound good, but again, will you still be the same team you were before you hit the buy, or before you had that? Again, buy? happy New Year's, guys. We really appreciate you. This is the last show of 2023. 
2024 is going to be a big, big year for everyone. Hopefully, everything oh, goes yeah. well. But you got to work at it, guys. Don't just say, oh, I my New Year's resolution, and you don't do anything to make that resolution come true. Yeah. So, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hopefully you got started towards the end of 2023, and you just springboard mm -hmm. onto 2024. Because the likelihood of you just waking yeah. up in 2024 and says, my life is different, I'm about to change things, it's probably mm -hmm. not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you have started that process no, a lot of, already, Ocho. Yeah. A lot of people always do that. A lot of people always do that. Obviously, the <laughs> gym, tomorrow, the gym, the gym going to be crowded. The gym is going to be crowded tomorrow morning. Everybody always had yes. New Year's resolutions. Everybody. And they always start out great the first week, the first two weeks, maybe even the first month. But discipline and structure, if it was never there before, you're not all of a sudden going to have it magically because it's a right. new year. That shit starts from within and it has nothing to do, it had nothing to do with New Year's yeah. at all. Hopefully you got started and you, you made that decision since 2024 is going 2024 is going to be different. Stick to it. And I'm starting, I'm starting now. The moment you realize that you wanted 2024 to be different, you started the process right. of mm -hmm. making it different in 2023. So we mm -hmm. wish you nothing but the yeah. best of luck. Uh, Harry donated two hundred dollars. Said, "Happy New Year, Cap fam. My birthday is on the second. Can I get a shout out? My name is Marcus. Marcus, happy birthday, bro. Kind of happy birthday, bro. bro. You kind of needed that thing on like uh, New Year's Eve, man. But congratulations, bro. Many more to come. Enjoy tonight. Hey, man. I don't know if my birthday would close tonight. Woo! It'd be on. Yeah, yo, yeah, be yeah. On, Ocho. Mm -hmm. So you know my my birth my birthday in eight days. No, that's not, no, no. You you might well go and have your birthday in February. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hey, you don't miss Chris. You miss Christmas. You miss New Year's Eve. Eight days in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm listen. You will celebrate I'm, regardless. Of uh, <laughs> I don't I don't really celebrate. I and one thing I hate about my my birthday I tell real all the time. Don't throw me no party. I don't want no party. Get me a nice cigar. Get me, get me a cafe on let or get me some Starbucks. I have a, I have a vinyl, some, I have vinyl yeah. records, right? I love jazz. I love my Frank Sinatra. I love my blues. I love my old school music. Give me a coffee. Give me a cigar. Put me out there on the balcony. Let me play my vinyl records. Kick my feet up and relax. That's all I need. But here she go. Always trying to surprise to do some extra knowing it's not what I want. I appreciate it. I appreciate right. what you're trying to do, but I'm simple. I don't, I I love crowds if I have to be in them. But if I don't have to be in them, it's not something I really want to do. My close friends, it's cool. I don't have that many. You know, if I do have anything, it's mm -hmm. my kids, my brothers. Anytime I have anything going on, you know, T.O. has always, right. always been supportive of me. You know, when I lost my mom or I have my birthday, you know, T is always there. Other than that, yeah, I'm good. I ain't, I ain't trying to do anything. I see people when it comes to their birthday, they have a, oh, it's my birthday week, oh, it's my birthday month. Listen, I say a prayer at 11.59 when that, when that clock hit 12. I thank God for seeing another year, and I Bruh. go about my day. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care for the shenanigans and Bruh, all that you extra. said, uh, I thought you said vinyl sausages. You said vinyl records. I like, what that? Yeah, I'm oh, like, vinyl, what the hell yeah. you talking about? Vinyl. Somebody, that ain't no nothing to celebrate with. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my bad. My bad. I got a, I got a nice vinyl collection, man. The 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 sound is is so much is so much yeah. different. You know, being able to hear it off them records. That so. vinyl. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Well, well, so eight days. So that'll be the, the eighth. That's a Monday. Yeah. Yeah. The I'm ninth? on the ninth. I'm okay. yeah, January ninth. Ninth. January ninth, nineteen sixty eight. Jackson Memorial yeah. Hospital. Born at three oh eight a.m. I never forget. Uh, with the uh, the Bears get the number one draft pick, face the ultimate decision with Justin Fields with the Carolina Panthers. Man, Justin Fields, Justin Fields has shown. Justin Fields has shown that he should continue being the quarterback for the Chicago Bears. But with a talent like Caleb Williams, what do you do as ownership? If you were the owner, what would you do? My, my thing is Ocho. Okay, you say Caleb. Uh, you say uh, Justin Fields, our guy. You haven't shown since mm -hmm. he's been there that you have the ability or the qualifications mm -hmm. to put talent around him. So why should I trust you now? If I'm Justin I mean, Fields, why do I trust you now? If I'm Justin Fields, I'm okay, like, you know what, guys? I think it's best that your guys, you, we both move on. Send me to Atlanta. Send me to Atlanta. So? Justin Fields in Atlanta going back home. Hey, I like Michael I like where Big your mind 2. at. 
I like I like where you're mind at. I like where you're mind at. Drake London, B. John Robinson. Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts. Hey, that's nice. So I like it, and I don't know if it's possible. Chat, stay with me real quick, baby. Caleb Williams, Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah. Is that even is I don't that know if it's possible, possible because the Bears are back. winning, and so they're they're going down. I think what they possess now, I think they got like the ninth pick in the draft. He's not gonna be there. Oh, He's not gonna man. be there at nine. Um now, maybe, maybe what do we trade? What are we gonna get from Atlanta if we trade them Justin Fields? They're 10th right now. What do we get for Justin Fields? I right. believe Atlanta be crazy not to give up a first round pick to get Justin Fields. I mean, I mean, I mean you would. You would you would want to. You would want to. So why now why not? Why not? Ahead. But so who who's who has the second pick? Because whoever had the second pick, that's where Marvin Harrison Washington. Marvin Harrison uh Jr. is going. Washington has the second pick. The Patriots well, have the third I pick. I think they they gonna move out of that. They're they gonna move out of that spot because you already got Jahan Dotson. You got McLaurin. You already have Terry McLaurin. And uh, oh, I forgot the third. Samuel. I forgot the third receiver name. He, he, he yeah, Curtis Samuel. Really, you that's a, you got a very very good decent decent core right there. Decent trio. They need a well, quarterback Drake in May. DC. What if what if they what if they what if they overlap, overlap and try to trade with uh with the Bears to get that first pick and then they steal Caleb Williams. Oh, if they, if, uh, I would I would assume whomever if, if 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 Chicago gives up that pick. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Then they're gonna they're right. gonna stay I'm with Justin Fields. Somebody's, I'm assuming someone's coming to get Caleb Williams. That that would be that yeah, would be my exactly. assumption. Mm -hmm. Now you know, hey, the draft is funny. You yeah. you, never you never know. know I mean, nobody happen. thought Andy Reid would go up 17 spots to get Patrick Mahomes. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, he saw, saw he something. saw something. So it, it's gonna be very interesting. But the question is, Ocho. For me, I'm just leery of the Bears. Being able to surround him with the mm -hmm. talent that he needs, and plus, talent. it's going to cost right. you two hundred million dollars to resign to 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 extend Justin Fields too. Right, right. I mean, well, either you're going to give it to him, or the Falcons. Oh, the, or the Falcons got no, got no problem give it to him. because he had the thing I questioned with right. the Bears. You let Rock Way Cron Smith, uh, mm -hmm. Rock Cron Smith go. Yeah, that that was weird. What? Yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? That was weird. And he hasn't missed a step over there in Baltimore. He at all. There's, there's nothing wrong with him. He a perfect Raven. No, nothing wrong with him. Nothing wrong Man, with him. Hey, I gotta promise you, you know? with uh, <laughs> when they find out that uh oh, you been telling me he oh uh -huh. that's, he a raven. He got oh man, he he, yeah. he uh, we, man, we mm -hmm. should have had him way back when. Yeah, it's funny, it's funny how ownership or GMs or certain teams never see value mm -hmm. in you. But they see the value in you yeah. once you're gone. And how valuable right. Roquan Smith is to the Ravens defense. Eric, I'm not saying he's no. Ray Lewis, but yeah. he's Ray Lewis. Uh, Eric DeCosta, who's the GM, or Ozzy, Ozzy still has a chair, still has an office there. I call him all the time and aggravate the right. hell out of him. The boy, what you want? <laughs> Nothing. Just to aggravate you. Because I know yeah. you ain't doing it. You got all this right. free time. You telling everybody you got free time now. You can do work on your golf game. Which is still trash. I know mm -hmm. that somebody gonna send you this clip. Your golf game still trash, but you still my dog. <laughs> you still my dog. Oh, I don't know if you saw this. David Tepper, who's mm -hmm. the owner of the, hey, of the, the, the Carolina Panthers, that. video surfaced of him mm -hmm. throwing his drink on a Jaguars fan today. Roger Goodell got to come down hard. I'm talking about hard, hard. Yeah, I'm talking about yeah, probably somewhere between a half a million and a million dollar fine, and he's got to be suspended for a period of time. I like I like the fine. I like I like the fine because we get fined for every little thing. The suspension That's an owner. Is that is that no. is that a little too much? I, I like the fine though. The fine and the Ocho. And apology Ocho, that, to the that, fans. That's, not a That's an owner. That's an owner. Right. 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 And right. He I he, understand. I, I understand where you're going. It's supposed to be above the fray. Yeah. And I get it. Your team is, is is losing, and that's one of the reasons. Oh, Joe, I don't mm -hmm. like really like go to the game. I ain't no lie. I'm a sore, I'm a sore loser. I'm gonna even I'm right. gonna even I'm gonna even sore a winner. So my mm -hmm. team win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm I'm ooh. Mm -hmm. I yeah. bet. But even at even as even as an owner, even in a in a seat in a position of power like that, even he can yeah, feel the way. He's based human. On what's said to you? You know. Even he can react 
based on what's said to him because again mm -hmm. he is human it's his team he's the owner obviously he cares for, for one to even yeah. react in that manner and forget that you are the owner that says a lot about how he feels about that team in the direction in what they're going in where they're at right now not where they're going the direction right. where they are right well you now. just can't keep hiring and firing coaches He's only third. He's only third. I mean, yeah. think oh, about yeah. it. He fired uh, Matt Rule. That ain't he never filled it. Filled in. Mm -hmm. Let him go. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, brought in. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's the guy? He, um, the quarterback. He was at Philly. He was at uh, Indy. Went, uh, Fr Frank Reich. Frank Reich. Frank. Oh, Frank, brought Frank, Frank, Frank in. Yeah, yeah. Frank's gone now. You yeah. can't keep firing and hiring. Yeah. You, you 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 know you know what that comes from? I think that comes from being a successful mm -hmm. successful businessman. I think, and thinking well in my world when things don't work out, I just replace it with someone else. But in the football world, when things aren't working out, you can't just continue to replace coach after yeah. coach after coach like you're in the business right. in the business world. No. It doesn't it doesn't work like that. And thinking that okay, if I just bring in a new coach. All of a sudden, things are going to turn around for the better. No. That's not the way it works. With the NFL, with this game, mm -hmm. it takes time. Yep. Building a team, yep. building a rapport, obviously getting the quarterback, and then building the pieces around that quarterback to make sure you guys are able to be efficient and compete week in and week out. Stuff like that takes time. I think they think throwing money is the easy answer and going after big names. That's not how it works. And it's not how it's going to work. In today's today's day and age, one thing that most owners don't have or coaches, especially if you're not you don't have a a football background, is they think everything is an easy no. fix. What older, what not. owners don't have is patience, especially new owners. Now the older right. owners seem to right. have it a little more because they I mean like right. a lot of these owners they inherited it from their fathers. So especially if you mm -hmm. inherited you know, um, a situation, you know, firing someone after a year or two is not the answer to go. Mm -hmm. Normally you have to let, no. let, them, let them figure this thing out. Um, but, mm -hmm. and, and today everybody wanted microwave. Everybody wanted quick. Everybody wanted instantaneous. We want success. And, and social media has mm -hmm. spoiled us and to make, Oh, how I, yeah. how I made my first hundred million, how I became a millionaire overnight, how I did this, mm -hmm. how I got this right. body in 22 minutes. See, everybody wants something. Everybody <laughs> wants it quick, Ocho. It's time. It's work. Yeah. It's working, mm -hmm. the, especially mm -hmm. because. Go ahead. Yeah. And, it, and if you do get it quick, it no. ain't going to last long. And that goes that goes for anything, whether it's, whether it's money, whether it's business. You know, everybody want to take the shortcut or find the mm -hmm. loopholes to it. But yeah. that ain't how it works. It's about yeah. longevity. In order, and with longevity, there's a process mm -hmm. to get to that point. Because I think the thing is, Ocho, you understand because you're asking, 53 guys to come together with different backgrounds, nationalities, mm -hmm. you know, preference mm -hmm. and religion and all, whatever the case may be for a common goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, you have to have a guy that uh, uh, that can carry a room, that can, that's a leader of men, that, that's relatable, that resonate mm -hmm. in that locker room. And mm -hmm. it's not as easy as you think because some guys that can carry a locker room, they can't coach. And some guys can coach, they don't oh, relate yeah. and they don't carry a locker room. And so it's a fine right. line, a, a, a fine line and a balance between finding that right mm -hmm. mix, that right combination. But mm -hmm. I just know that firing right. a coach every time the guy goes, has a losing season or you don't think, I don't think right. he's been, just because you have enough money to buy a franchise, that doesn't mean you know the intricacies of a football team and what wow. it takes to build a contending and a championship caliber football team. And so I don't think he understands that. He just thinks he can come in. Oh, this ain't working. Let me change. You could do CEOs like that of your business. Yeah, yeah you could do that. Oh, Football yeah. doesn't work yeah. like that. Pro sports yeah. doesn't work like that. Mm -mm. Uh, Pony's pick. Mitch says, all these young bucks uh, out on offense for the Packers, and they're still racking up points. Kiss the baby. I like the Packers in the future. I like them moving forward. I think they got something you can build on. Yeah. Offensively, with old skill position, yeah. with those skill players, and that quarterback, they're only going to get better, Ocho. He's mm -hmm. only going to get more confident. He's only going to get better. And they're going to get an opportunity yeah. to grow. Now, Watson is going to have to find a way to stay healthy because he's phenomenal when he's yeah. on the field. He just – yeah. Very phenomenal. He's, he's having hamstring injuries, and he, he's not sure. Obviously, hamstring, that soft tissue, right. that's one thing you don't play with. Listen, that, that hamstring and that groin, 
you got to get you got to get those two right. Anytime anything that is bothering you as a receiver, anything with the lower extremities from the waist down that is hampering you is going to always be there unless you fix it. So we need, I mean, obviously in the offseason, you know, brother Christian Watson needs to find out, go see a specialist yeah. or whatever. He might be 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 off um mechanically. Maybe it's something with his right. gait. Maybe his hips are off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh something is too right. strong and it's tugging. Maybe something is too weak mm -hmm. and it's and it's causing it's causing right. the hamstring to fatigue and to, to overexert. But that's something that he definitely needs to get right. worked out. Hey, Ocho, maybe he's working yeah. too much in practice. Maybe they need maybe they need to back him so? down in practice. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen with the way with the way with the way the CBA the rules are as far as practice is concerned. I don't think they. Practice well, I'm saying say maybe he. I mean, based based on the well, schedule I've seen, the running, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. not not the hitting, but you know the receivers. And and I don't okay. know. Look, right. I'm talking about when we when I was in that West Coast system, we had to finish forty yeah. yards. So no matter how far, nobody you catch a flat mm -hmm. route, you had to turn up and go forty. Yeah, you got to go forty yards. So okay, that okay, was okay. a that was a lot. We did a lot of running, Ocho. A lot of running. Right. Ain't no, hey, I called it and yeah. turn up five yards. And it wasn't none of that, bro. Because every time Mike yeah. wanted you to finish, you know who Jerry started that bullshit. Bull Jive. Jerry mm -hmm. Rice started that yeah. with, with Coach Walsh. Mm -hmm. Jerry would catch it and finish like he was going to the house every time. He wanted a mindset, I'm scoring. Yeah, and, I'm scoring. and the funny thing about it is what you do in practice, it, carry, it carries over into the game, and it's just second yeah. nature. It, it's and just second Mike, nature. You had to finish past Mike. So as we started to get he come down, he back it down to like 30 yards. But you had to finish past him, and he'd be you know he'd be down there mm -hmm. holding the play sheet. Man, I hated catching a flat ride. You know, if you catching a seam, you catching a seven, you Ooh. already down the field to it. Yeah. Oh, you good? Man, I'm you already a, down there. But you I'm catch some short. Flat. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm catching a shallow cross. Right. I got to turn up and go thirty. Uh, but it's gonna be mm -hmm. interesting to see what uh uh what Commission Goodell because obviously he's gonna tell him this is not a good look. This is a horrible look. You gonna oh, have yeah, to do something, huh? Yeah, he gonna he get fired. He gonna, he probably give him. What's the most they can find him? A half a million, maybe a half a million. The most they can find him. Uh, uh. I mean, listen. Take yeah, yeah. The bad worth eight nine billion. What the hell? Five hundred thousand him. It ain't hurting nobody. It ain't hurting nobody. I mean, if you, if you want to hit him, most of the time, you know, they always tell you, you hit him where it hurt, and it's the pocket. No, the, the, but what, not what, what hurt? Owner. What hurt owners is draft picks, capital. That's the money. Oh yeah. I mean, no, no, well, no. This, I'm this, just, I'm this just wouldn't saying be a case for that, though. That's what hurt owners. Okay, okay, okay. Not okay. money, bro. Right, that, right. You find, you right. find an owner. You find, but he huh? wouldn't go as far. As, he no, no, as no, far no. As but that, I think though, they're gonna think? find. I think they'll find him maybe okay. five hundred thousand, two hundred, two fifty, what, whatever the right. max they can find an owner. I think they'll do him that, and maybe okay. give him a a one month or or a, a couple of games suspension or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. Laura right. Taylor. Uh, RC underscore seven underscore studios donated. Happy New Year to a couple of handsome, awesome guys. I love watching y'all. The 49 of Faithful, thank you for educating me on the fine sport of football. Well, Laura, thank you very much for tuning in. We love our female audience. Uh, we're the only, uh, mm -hmm. we're one of the few, I don't want, I don't want to say only, but we're one of the few mm -hmm. that have a 30% female viewer rate for a sports show. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think y'all come for I think y'all come for the football, but I think y'all be waiting to hear about these stories. Y'all be y'all think y'all slick women. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, 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 the the stories are good. The, the, stories, the stories are great. Are good. And the, the 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 best the best yeah. the best part. Obviously, football football mm -hmm. is awesome, but you know, hearing the stories and the life experiences, some of the things that we've been through, whether it be relationships, whether it be breakups, uh, getting hurt, uh, no matter what it is, we have stories for days based. Mm -hmm. On experience, and obviously we old, yeah, so we've been through yeah, a lot, a, a awful lot. Uncultured J, yo guys, just want to say, Ocho didn't hear from you, didn't hear from me, but someone said your head looks like a big toe. Did I say? Oh, my bad, toes. Yeah, Ocho, you they say, man, you be on them toes real hard. She had to keep up the great. <laughs> you say my head, my head. Yeah, they like say a you toe. be on them toes hard, Ocho. I mean, Ocho. Nah, nah, nah. I'd be, I'd be on a, a, a set of toes. But hey, that, toes I, 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 that, oh, that oh, you know what, Ocho? I'm going to say, you know what? The very first time you experienced yeah. this toe, experienced toe was real. Yeah. I'm going to say the first time uh -huh. you experienced toe was real. That's going to be between me, you, and the fist. Now you're right. That's between me, you, and the fist. Yeah, folks. yeah. Hey, I, listen, 
I, I like what you're putting down. Okay, I appreciate that. We're going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay. I, I like that. <laughs> Keep being great, but that part look like uh, uh, they say we look like failed temptation members. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on, Jay, man. You are hey, a guy. Jay, you hey, been here for hey, a minute. Hey. hey. Everybody, everybody, you know what they call everybody talk, man. Real call me Lil Bill. <laughs> you know uh -oh. Lil Bill? Who Lil Bill? What do he do? And look, a little cartoon. Oh, yeah, 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 Lainey Ray, hey Lainey Ray, Love Happy you. New Year, Shannon Ocho. Thanks for entertaining us and telling amazing stories. Shooting my shot to get the mods front row seats at Vegas show. Okay, okay. Lady Ray says she tried to she tried to put up being in early for front front row seats. Yeah, that's oh, gonna be live, man. I could I could I could I could, I could picture Ooh. it now. I could I could picture it now. Hey, we got to come out. We got to come out with smoke though, oh, Lord. like with smoke. You know where they when when you know yeah, they, when yeah, they introduce yeah. us. We gotta have matter of fact, you know who got we gotta have Michael Buffer introduce us. We gotta have Michael Buffer introduce us. That costs us. money. I pay hey, for it. How about this? How about we have like I five guys it. smoking cigars and we walk through the cigar smoke? <laughs> Instead of having a smoke machine. Nah. <laughs> Listen, smoke machine ain't a, ain't a, I can get a smoke machine for twenty dollars from a homeboy out the street. All right, I got a home. Like I got it, I got to do, I got to do right now. Remember how you paid for the pump for the pump? Yeah. You paid ten thousand, and the lady yeah. had to come ship them. Man, I got it, I got a, a dude right now at the city. He got Yorkies, he got Pomeranians, he got French Bulldogs. Do he, he got, got a smoke that, machine? Like he got all that exotic stuff. What do you got? Three hundred dollars. I get, I get you do anything for three hundred dollars. I can, he can get a smoke machine for twenty. Oh, I know I he can get I, one for I twenty. I got a whole can go get it too. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Pressure, okay. just check. You get a pressure Anything washer, you get whatever you need. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of them, oh, yeah. one of them eggs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that yeah. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I'm just, yeah. I'm just making sure because, you know, I know somebody that can get anything. Yeah. Uh, Prince, man, I can't even announce your name. Uh, do you kiss your dogs in the mouth? If you do, what does your significant other say? Man, look at that. My boys, Taz. Oh, you got a shirt with you got a yeah. shirt with the boys on there. Taz and Teddy Bear. Okay, I see, I see. Hey, they get along or uh, they be fighting? This one, Taz is about to be fourteen. And okay, so he, he chilling. chilling. He chilling. He hates this one and the other he one. Chilling. <laughs> but they be active well, all the, over uh, the place. The little one, I got a big one that weighs about one seventy, and he weighs about seven pounds. Yeah. And they be playing all the time. They be like, it's WWE. Uh, but but Taz, but baby, I call him baby. He like, he just want he just want him to leave yeah. him alone. Yeah, bro. I kiss mm -hmm. my dogs. I sure do. My dogs, my dogs, my mouth, my house, my table, my food, my bed. It's mine. Mine, 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 okay. mine. Let's let me get let's get a bit. Let's let's let's, yeah. let's rewind a little bit. You know, let's let's touch on some things. So, raccoon, yeah, you gonna eat that? Pig yeah. feet, you gonna pig eat ears that? too? Pig tails too? Pig tails, pig ears, but you draw the line when it comes to sucking toes or eating ass. Now, I just want to make sure I'm I want to clarify that. But kissing the dog, you know, oh. the, the dog, I understand and yeah. man's best friend and and loyal tea and all that good Ocho. stuff. But Ocho. you got to help me out, yes, sir. I I'm not saying I'm against it, but you, but I'm saying right. you off the muscle. It's like, hey, how yeah, you doing? You got, What's your you, name? You got it. Now that's what that's why I draw the line. Yeah, yeah, just, just, just. That's just, why I just draw the like line that. right Just now. like that. Now you you can't you can't yes. draw the line. Listen, the, the last time I the last time I drew lines was in kindergarten. What? The last time I drew lines was in well, kindergarten. Can you can you call in between, in between those between lines? Them. I mean, okay, you draw the line, but stay in between no, them. Call in between them. I, 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 I mean, tried that. I, mean, you, I tried that. You life eating, life you, is boring when life is life is boring when you color within the all line. I'm asking, all boring. I'm asking, can you? Uh, you got any brothers or sisters? I mean, where you go to high school? Yeah, I got. I, I, got, I, got, I, I mean, got you need to know that from her. You ain't even asking her. You don't know nothing about her. 
Wait, hold on, hold on. What is it? See, I call that smoke and mirrors. I, I the, the getting the no stage. I call that smoke and mirrors. So it's like having a donut, and all you're doing is filling the cream in the middle. See, not the cream don't even matter. I want the motherfucking nah, donut. Nah, nah. I want the donut. The cream filling, it's cool. It's cool. It gives you the finishing touch of the donut, but the most important. Slow down a little bit there. Woo! Slow down. <laughs> no you good. Yeah. The donut is the most important part. Getting to know somebody, no, that's the cream nah. feeling. They they, oh, they they make you go, they make you think about it. What do you get to know that's gonna all of a sudden make you, oh my god, I know yeah. your name, I know your favorite color. You know what? Now I want you so bad. Oh, no, we are as men, we are we listen, um, stay with me, baby. The, we are oh, visual. I creatures. am, I am. We are visual, visual. Yes, use our eyes. Yes, yes. Use our eyes. What what I get to know about you is not gonna change what no. I've already seen. I want you because of what I see. Listen, what I know about you and what I come to know about you, however God made you, that's just icing on the cake. But I want the cake. I don't really care nothing about the icing. But I damn, can, can we can we eat some appetizers first? Can I get the salad? I mean, you going straight for dessert. See that? No, man, come on, man. You, we in 2024 and you still on that same 2023 no. shit. We, no. It's a new year. It's a new year. I need a new you. It's a I, new year. Okay. I need a but new I, you. Oh, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to figure out. I just want, you know, sometimes it's okay to slow walk. I mean, you know, I like to run too. I like to run. I, I can pick up the pace right. every once in a while, but right. I'm like, hey, you know, hey, you know, right. <laughs> you know, like that, you know what I'm saying, don't you? But I mean, you coming, yeah. I mean, you coming in hot. You, some, sometimes you got to come in hot. I mean, That's I like, why I live in Miami. I mean, it's 90 like degrees every day. Like, you coming in like, oh, like, cool. I'm like, well, damn. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you, you have to do, you have to be like this sometimes. Um, sometimes Off the muscle, you though, Ocho. Sometimes. Sometimes, Off sometimes the you have Off to be aggressive. Rip. Sometimes you, sometimes you gotta, you gotta forget the script, and you got to change. You got, you got to change the tempo. Sometimes you gotta flip the script and change the tempo. Some, some women like when you, when, some, some women like when you, when you drive slow. But I guarantee you, when you change it up and you go fast, oh my goodness, yeah. I like this. I, Ocho, this is different. Ocho, but I'm saying, when you got your driver's license, you had to put that ten to two, right? You yeah. start out 10 to 2. Now, once yeah. you got the driver's license, 10 to two. I want that thing like this here. Yeah. I'm leading with it. Yeah. Matter of, matter of fact, I ain't even using my hand. I'm using my That's knee. That's what I'm saying. So that's okay. But but you got to do what I'm knee. saying. You got to do that first, though, Ocho. What's your first car? Yeah. My first my first car? Uh, my first car was a 1973 oh. Chevy Caprice. Yeah. Convertible. See? Got to, uh, slow it down, Ocho. Slow it down. Nah, man. Listen, this is a new year, Unc, man. We ain't getting no younger. We ain't getting right. no younger. And you never know. And you ever had a crack? You ever had a cracker? Yeah. Jack? Remember cracker yeah. Jack? Cracker Jack? Yeah. Remember yeah. the prize in every box? And you want to open up that motherfucking box real bad because you mm -hmm. want to see what you got? That's what it's like. Just think, just think of it as that cracker jack box. Get in that need, thing, get in there. I don't need to see what the prize anymore. is. You sometimes you want you want to see what the prize is like. Because if the prize ain't worth it, oh. shit. Ain't no point in eating oh, the rest. I'm just like, man. Yeah, I'm just, baby, I'm trying to get you where you're trying to go. I, you know That's what? All. I think I'm just gonna lay over here. You know, I'm gonna miss my flight. You know what I'm saying? I normally I like being on time. Yeah. I like to eat late right, early right, in the right. morning because usually every first flight out in the morning, the plane normally has to be at the gate overnight. So that way that plane normally right, gonna get out right. on time. You know what, Ocho? I'm gonna miss my flight on this one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna catch the next one. I'm gonna catch the next one. I got you. I got you. But listen, even if you catch the next one, this is the thing about it. If I get on the first flight and you catch the next one, we're gonna get to the same destination at yeah. some point anyway. But I just why you know, I don't like to take my yeah. time. I like to feel I like to feel them yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I got you. That's I got you. I got, got the ocho. That, that joker jumping. That joker jumping. He, you, he ain't going to the kiddie pool. He ain't gonna step his toe in. He jumping straight up. He 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 high oh, diving. He flip diving. Man, this is Ol Olympic size pool. I'm going straight Ooh. to 18 feet. Mm. Off the high dive. Bless his heart. I had that. Like, like, like Rodney Dangerfield and back Pray to school. Pray for him, y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying, Ocho. I'm just saying, Ocho. It's okay. It's okay. Well, look, you and Rail, how long you and Rail been dating? Boys, boys. Four years. Four okay. years in. Okay. Him, boy. Yeah, four. Yeah. 
And they, you know what? That is is it's been full, but it feel like it's like it's only been months. That ain't fresh like that. I feel like, yeah, I, it, yeah, it 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 feel fresh. Now I don't understand why it's still fresh. I don't understand why it still feels fresh after. I mean, some people wouldn't even consider four years long, but it it still feel fresh. You know, mm -hmm. like uh that little nervous feeling. The yeah, little yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, that, that, that mm -hmm. should be cool. Ain't nothing like, like that. That should be you cool. Are, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah some, man. And, it, and, it's, and, it, and it's funny. Sometimes mm -hmm. I look at it, right? And the first thing I say, well, God damn, what you doing with my ugly ass? And everybody, boy, you know you, you, you know did. you out kicks your coverage on this one. Well, who you who you telling? Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Who you telling? Boy, you boy, she. But let me let me tell you. you I know. know. Why she here? <laughs> They say you got. They, yeah. they say you put that baby D on her. They say you put that baby huh? D on her, yeah. that tongue. That's what they call that tongue. That baby yeah. D. And, yeah, and I ain't. Yeah, and, and I, I ain't know. About you, yeah, I know what I'm talking about too. <laughs> say, Boy, that thing dropped. They say that thing dropped out your mouth like venom. So you got myself. <laughs> That's what they call. Them. They got him Ocho Venom Johnson. <laughs> that boy. That's that bad. That Ocho unfurl that thing on him. Hey. Man, listen, man. Nah, I, that, it's a good feeling, though. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. And you know the funny thing if about a, it? It's a good chat, feeling for them, for them or good. for you? Oh, man, oh. for me. Oh, you talking about Ray? Okay, my man. Okay, you. The, hey, yeah, I'm yeah, trying to stay real. with you, Ocho. You told yeah, me to stay bad. with you. But, but bad, hey, yeah. I need you. Hey, keep me, keep me, hey, keep me engaged in the class, man. Listen. I don't, yeah, I got, I got you. I got you. I don't know what train you on, but the train I'm going, train I'm on going north. Hey, but listen, the the union... You know, we're real and I obviously it's been four years, it still feels fresh, but we mm -hmm. do have our issues. Of we course. Are, I mean, come on, man. We, oh, yeah, all we, these people are, are, oh, it's yeah, perfect. I mean, we don't do this, yeah. we don't let's stop it. But sometimes, yeah, you know, some you know, people love yeah. acting like everything, so so peaches and cream. Oh no, nah, we argue. We argue, you know, we, we have our issues, we have we have we have our moments, we have those uh you know what? I'ma go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and, and take mm -hmm. me a walk. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take me a a smoke break and drive for about mm -hmm. about thirty minutes and come back. And when cooler right. heads prevail, then we'll we'll hash this out and we we'll communicate. We find a a solution to the problem and we go from there. Boom and we write back. But uh, other than that, man, it's 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 beautiful. It's it's beautiful. What real say? Uh real say. Ah, oh, baby, you're doing an amazing job multitasking. Happy New Year. I'll be home soon. Make sure you make sure the kids are there. Oh, she talked about. She probably yeah. talked about when I had the yeah, baby. Yeah, she did. They, they don't make you want to have down down. Huh? You don't want no more. You don't want no more kids. Sometimes, sometimes. I'm, I'm just asking because I like that. I, like I enjoy yeah. that moment. Like she normally she would be sleep, but my my younger daughter had a baby. Ken, yeah. baby Kennedy here. Baby Kennedy had her. She yeah. couldn't get it to go to sleep. I come get her. I'm the right. baby whisperer now. You know I'm good with. Uh, I'm yeah, good I know. With I know you the baby whisperer. Up, you whisper the woman in. She got a baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, hey, that, that's exactly that's how, exactly how it works. And see, the funny thing is, I'm so good with kids. Normally, that's why there's really no hesitation to have them from me because you know you're in good hands. You know I'm mm -hmm. a great father, so you already know what you get in that area, which is why it's no problem. But anyway, boom, put yeah. it right here on my chest. You see, five yeah. minutes she stopped crying. Yeah. She was out of there, yeah. right to sleep, right to sleep. Easy. I mean, what, what if I girl. what if I just like to practice? Yeah. You know, I ain't gonna play the game. I'm just gonna practice. Oh, no, no, we ain't gonna have a baby. We just gonna practice trying to make one. Nah, you've been doing that fifty five years. So what's the point of what's the point of practicing if you ain't getting the results? When you when you practice when you play yeah. for the Broncos, right, or you play for the Ravens, you go to practice. It yeah. helps the scoring. Yeah. on Sunday. So why practice if you're not reproducing? Bro, I got three kids. I'm 55. Listen, Holly Berry was 51 when she had Ocho. one. What you saying? Ocho, how that's going to look? They got me. Ocho, thank you. And you know what? what? You know what you can't do? You know, odd numbers is not hey. a good thing. If you're going to have kids, you need to end on you need to Ocho, end on an even number. So you Ocho, need to have one more. This. Yes, sir. Just for the sake of argument, I have a, I'm going to be 56. 56, yeah. kids, 17, that's 73. Yeah, right. Man, I'll be paying with child, I'll be paying child support with disability. Why you gotta you, why would you have to pay child support? You they, are a father they gonna that be, does they his gonna, job. You they gonna, have be, to pay they no gonna child be like they're gonna be like uh 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 Kennedy, your grandfather out there to pick you up. That ain't my grandfather, that's my daddy, fool. 
Nah, they ain't gonna say that. Well, you cool. You gonna be in a BMW EV? They ain't gonna say. They ain't gonna say that. Yeah, with you an electric the, scooter. With an electric scooter the, on the you're back. You gonna be the cool. You gonna be the cool pop. <laughs> with a with electric scooter on the back. <laughs> I think. I don't know, Ocho. You know what, Ocho? You know what? You know what I do think? I mean, there have been times I, I think about, like, you know what? There you go. I, I tell you, an infant, an infant will bring you joy, and it will keep you young. It, ha it had you moving around. It had you smiling. You never, you, you like, you never thought. I'm, I'm telling you. Listen to me. We'll sit down and talk about it all, all off the chat. I, I don't want to talk. I think you bringing another <laughs> child in the world with the right one would be a really good look. It'd be a really good look. A good look for who? My old lad with a kid. It age ain't nothing but a number. Age ain't nothing but a number. You experience too. You experience. Oh, Jay Wee, Jay William Drum said dating is dating game is different now, Ocho. You whoa, can't show date, all whoa, your whoa, tricks whoa. on the first Gate, dating game ain't no different. The dating is. game is the same way it was back then. No, it, it ain't. wasn't no different. No, it, man. It wasn't no different. Nah. Man, they ain't put all them cards on the table like that. You show your hand, you show your hand on the first one. Even back then, yeah, boy, depending no, on who you depend, nah, depending nah. on depending on who you are, you show your hand because you ain't got mm -hmm. time to play. I got that no, no, ain't no time to play, Ocho. I think about no. Hey, I I got one for you. Think about what? this. What? Think about the old school music from back in the days. Yeah. The problems and the issues that we hear about today, they were singing about it way back in the seventies, in the sixties, in the eighties. Everything is still the same. The only difference now is is magnified because there's more exposure. So dating is still the same in hindsight. It's just the fact that it's it, it's it's magnified because it's 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 more access because of social media. So I don't really think things gotta, are really that much different. Ocho, when you go into a game, uh -huh. you got a big old sheet. You got a big old play, a big sheet. Yeah, you saw yeah. a big old sheet. Yeah. Ocho, I ain't trying to run all the plays on the first game. No. You know what I'm saying? I yes, gotta sir. save, I gotta save, I gotta save that reverse. I gotta mm -hmm. save that flea flicker, right, and I gotta right. save that tackle eligible, right? For a rainy day, you like know what I'm saying? You know what? You gotta do that. I, I, I like where you going. I gotta like save that going. one. I like you going. Matter of fact, you know what, dudes, dudes these days. Now nah, I'm not in this. I'm not in this. They make it hard. They make it. Oh hard yeah, they, to, yeah, that's the real. But them you young boys, them young boys, they're they on another level. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Off see. rip. Yeah, oh, they buying yeah. houses. They buying cars. They, yeah, yeah. I'm they, paying. They paying tuition. They they don't draw the price. The price sky high. They, and they, they doing it they all. Ain't even, they ain't even playing off yeah. rip. Yeah. Because it, it 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 gets you access right now. You know what? I don't feel like playing this game. Let me show you what I can do. Let me show you yeah. what I can do for you and change and make your life easy. But then. Uh -huh. The the con to that is, I mean, you you you. you, where, you where did you where did she go? If that doesn't work out with her and him, where, where does she go, go? You you continue chasing after the same thing because once you experience that lifestyle, ain't no turning or back. Or access like that, you ain't, ain't no going turning backwards. back. Ain't no turning back. You ain't ain't no backwards. turning back. Mm -mm. You ain't going backwards. No. But nope. It is ain't no turning it is. back. It, 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 it ain't it no is, turning back, Ocho. You right. Listen. It's a it's a it's it's a dangerous game up there at the top like that now, because you got you got a, a small select few that are able to pull that type of maneuvering off, and you got a whole heap of women that's fine that is looking for just that. So you got the big fish, all in the same pond dealing with multiple women because mm -hmm. they can move and do for them like that. I done got old, so I can't do too much. I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah. Hey, listen. Well, you already know. I you, you know you're. And then plus, oh, I can't. You know, oh, I, I, I ain't spending no money now. You know with that. With two replace, with two replace hips, I can't be yeah. chasing no kids now. Who? Me. You, you, you told me your hips was good. They are good. I'm. That's why I said you need a child to get a hip some work. You chasing two, three year old on the park. The that's you, that's what you need. Oh, the hip strong. You See? saw you boy squat your hip strong. Told you. You said with you could squat. You said you could squat. Right? I got titanium. And that liquid blue. Ah. Hey. Hey. Man, with Hurricane Shane touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> Man, boy. Yeah, it is. I like it. I like it. Well, listen, if it's a hurricane, you know what come after the hurricane, right? It's always sunshine. And guess what the sunshine would be? In this case, for context, an infant. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You could name mm -mm. them. You could, you could name... 
the baby, now, baby Shay. No. Ali Swartz says, uh, my dad passed away two years ago at 78. I'm mm -hmm. 22 years old today. I'm grateful for uh, him having me later in life. He passed a lot of wisdom on to me. To me. Mm. <sighs> Allie. Mm. Yeah, he that'll be the same age I am. Cause he fifty. Oh man, Allie, I don't know, Allie. I don't. Ocho, I ain't gonna be. I don't know. I don't know Ocho. I mean, I think about. It. I ain't gonna lie, Ocho. I do. I do. I honestly See, do. I do have the, thoughts about it. The fact that you even thinking about it lets me know all you need is a little push. That's it. All you need is a little push. All you need is a little encouraging from the chat. We got twenty five thousand people in here. Chat. <laughs> I, don't y'all be don't y'all be following up Ocho with this foolishness. Chat. It would behoove y'all to convince Unc. You know. A child would be a good look, especially what we're trying to do and where we're going as far as uh, it, it would just be a great success story. And another, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I, I can't even think of what to say or how to word it the right way. I think it, it would just be a good look, though. It'd be, you it, know it what? Would, it would be put, it, put it to the chat. Do y'all think I do y'all think I should <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, have Who a poll. Agree have, with? Have a, have I a poll. said no. Have Ocho a poll. said yes. Have a poll. Tell it, and I guarantee the chat agrees with me. Faith donated uh and said, Hey Ocho and Shannon, happy new happy new year. Great t-shirt when nightcap hits million subs. You should get Ocho a puppy. What breed Ooh. would you pick for him? No, 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 no. I ain't, ain't doing no dog because I ain't doing no dog because that's a, that's an added expense. Nope. Also, shout out to the Mod Squad, King, CJ, and Laash. More blessings on the way. Marshawn Hunter, one of our mods, says, Happy New Year, fellas. I agree with Laney. Flowers mods to Vegas. Put us up in the front row. We be working hard promoting the podcast. Shea by Laportier, 85 cigars. Do something before do something. <laughs> we definitely try. We definitely try. We're trying to put something together. Uh, we're going to have something uh, in, in store. Uh, we don't just know, we don't know what it is yet. Leave it to Ocho. Uh, hell, he have y'all in the game trying to uh, uh, catch a pass or make a tackle or something. Uh, Upgrade King donated and said, Happy New Year, Nightcap fan. Worldwide, Ocho should have a segment discussing cigars. One question. How do you stop 85? You can't. Put hands on him. You, you can't. Put hands on him. You can't. Uh, man, it's New Year's, man. Happy New Year, people. Yeah, it happy is happy New Year's. Day. I love oh, y'all. Yes. If you need anything in 2024, you know how to reach me. If you need anything in 2024, it's 25,000 people in here, and I'm letting you know I'm here for you. If you need anything in 2024, you know how to reach me. Now, I, ain't, I might not say yes. I might not say yes, but that's besides the fact. The fact that I'm here for you, that lets you know everything you need to know. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap Nightcast podcast feed. You can also get it through the Club Shay Shay feed. Hell, go through both of them. We we'll greatly appreciate it. Um, if you're listening through my Club Shay Shay feed, thank you. But you can also get the link through the Club uh, through the Nightcap feed. We've also pinned Shay by Laporte at the top of the chat. A little late for uh, New Year's, but guess what? You still got President's Day, St. Patrick's Day, whatever holiday that you want to celebrate with, with you and that someone special. Make sure you get a baller and support your favorite unk. Uh, a little recap. Vikings, Sunday night game, 33-10 over Minnesota. Mm. The, the Ravens dropped a hammer down on the Dolphins, 56-19. Uh, Lamar solidified his MVP. I think it might be another unanimous after that showing that he had today. Oh, yeah. Eagles lose to the Cardinals. Let the Cowboys have the inside track to the NFC East crown. It also gave the 49ers the number one seed overall after they beat Washington 27-10. Uh, David Tepper, the owner of the Carolina Panthers, had an incident. There's a video surface of allegedly him throwing a drink at a Jacksonville Jaguars mm. fan. I don't know if the drink landed on him, and that's what the video says. So you could pull it up and deduce and, 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 and 
draw your own conclusions. Yeah. Uh, the Bears clinched the number one pick with the Carolina Panthers lo- lo- losing today. So they face a decision. Justin Fields had some moments, and he's had those type moments uh, throughout his career. <clears throat> Do they keep him, build around him, trade that dr- number one draft pick, get draft capital, or – do they keep him? The nice. polls <laughs> should Unk have another kid. Fifty-one percent says yes. Forty-nine percent says no. <laughs> hey, I told you. I told you. I told. I told you. I told you. They would want. I'm man. Listen, we'll we'll talk about it in depth a little a little bit more because obviously here on the chat, I can really get into it. I don't think people understand how good that would be for you. It would be a great look. Or you're already a, a superior father. And, and and adding another addition to the three that you already have, they will love that. I would love that. And if you need help, not that you would need help because you are experienced, but as the baby whisperer I need, that I am. I don't need no help. Oh, that what they channel don't need no help. Right, oh, right. no. Oh, yeah. no. Right. Mm. Oh, I'm, no, I'm talking about like. No, once, once, what, once the baby, oh, yeah. I'm talking yeah, about you once, the ba- once the baby here. The plumbing. Oh, oh, okay. I just thought you said the oh, God, plumbing. Nah, plumbing. <laughs> The plumbing functioning now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> See, McDuffie, Ugg and Ocho, if you were starting an NFL franchise, what current quarterback would you start your team with and you can't say Mahomes? CJ, CJ Stroud. I'm just, I'm just, I'm throwing, I'm throwing the first name out there that come to mind. Obviously, there, there are other, there are a plethora of quarterbacks that you can start a franchise with. But I'm just throwing C.J. Stroud's name out there because of what he's been able to accomplish in such a short amount of time, being in the NFL and turning that franchise around. That is the true definition of a franchise quarterback to go into a situation where it was extremely bad last year. Obviously, D'Amico Ryan's obviously having something to do with that as well. Mm -hmm. But when you have a quarterback, what you see in Houston is what happens when you get an elite franchise quarterback, regardless of how long he's been in the league. Well, based on the way he's played mm-hmm. uh, the last six, seven weeks, you'd probably be foolish not to say Lamar if you oh. couldn't take Mahomes. Yeah. I mean, he's been – I mean, he's shown – look, he had the highest completion percentage of throwing the ball outside of the pocket. Mm-hmm. But if you look at the, the plays that he made today, they were all in the pocket. Oh, yeah. Oh, Miami yeah. made a, a conscious effort to keep him in the pocket. Yeah. He stood there. Hit Zay Flowers down the rail. Hit the running, hit the running back, got mashed up on a linebacker mm-hmm. heel. Everything he threw from the pocket. Yeah. And he's figured it out. He's figured it out. They're afraid of my legs. They're gonna muddle rush. They don't, they don't want to they don't want to see me jump out of lane. So okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stand right here and pick you apart. He's 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 look, I don't know. You, you can't find fault with him now. Mm-mm. As long because as he's it, taking care of the football and he's ta- yeah. he's taking care of the football mm-hmm. over the last five or six weeks. Yeah. That's what got him in trouble was the turnovers. Yeah. You know, you turn you turn you throw an interception going into the end zone, you take points off the board. You got Tuck, you might as well say that. Well, we got automatic three from 15 in. If you got J- uh, uh, Justin Tucker as your mm-hmm. kicker, you got three. Yeah. Now he's taking care of the football every yeah, time. He's been man. Whew. Uh Wally donated. Happy New Year. Love y'all. Shout out to Puka Nakua. Rams are going to be a dangerous team in the playoffs. Puka had another moth today, Ocho. Yeah. You know what Puka eat? You know what Puka eat? What do you eat? eat McDonald's. I mean, me and me and Puka, Puka, me and Puka go back and forth on Twitter about, about McDonald's about once a week. Having yeah, a uh, phenomenal, he having a phenomenal season. Phenomenal yeah. season as a rookie. I don't know if it's Puka Nakua or I don't know if it's Sean, uh, Sean McVay. It's one of them. Or just that relationship, that maturation in general. The real deal. He the uh, how many yards to Puka? He might have the outside chance to get about sixteen hundred. I know he's over four fourteen hundred easily. At uh, one point he, had, he was he, he had five for a buck. He had five for uh, a buck eighteen. Hmm. Daniel uh, Robinson had six for ninety two. Higby had six for uh sixty two, and Cooper Cup had four for twenty seven. But he had a touchdown. Hmm. Puka Nakua has fourteen forty five. What's the what's the uh, record for a for rookie? A rookie? <clears throat> Chase, right? Didn't Chase break? Uh, I think Justin right. Jefferson yeah, he... had the record. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, he would have been rookie of the year had it not been for C.J. Stroud. Stroud, yeah. 
Most definitely. It's because CJ is playing so great and, and you know, he's playing un- unbelievable. Yeah. Even with even with the two missed games, he's probably still gonna win rookie of the year. Yes. Because you remember when Justin Jefferson had his outstanding year, mm-hmm. Justin Herbert won it because he was a quarterback. Quarterback, yeah. Not because he was a quarterback, but he did play well. I mean, he got he through for over four thousand yards, yards as a rookie, threw for yeah. over thirty touchdowns. So it, I'm not gonna say just because he was a quarterback, he had an outstanding year. Yeah. But Quarterback having an outstanding year and a wide receiver having an outstanding year. So he's Bill Gorman in 1963. 1960. The record is 1473. He's got 1445. He he, he won't hit that next week. Yeah, well, he got to hit it next week because it's the last game of the season. Okay. But but for a rookie to come in and get fit, think about all the great rookies that's come in. Jefferson and Chase and Randy Moss, uh, Julio, Yo. all those guys. Come, all, I mean, think about the receivers. Some good and ones. Puka, and Puka Nakua. Larry mm-hmm. Fitzgerald. Yeah. Uh, Calvin Johnson, Megatron. And Puka Man. Nakua. <laughs> about, to hit, about to go over 1,500 yards in a rookie season. That's crazy. Uh, crazy work. See Buford seventy donated. Hey, um, how funny was that young man that impersonated you in Baltimore? And where is he now? Uh, Tim, Tim Johnson is his name. I we keep we keep up. I don't know where he is now. I think he he might be back in Ohio. He went mm-hmm. to Youngstown State when he uh left the Ravens. If I'm not mistaken, he went to the Raiders. But I saw him uh last in 2022. Was it 22? No, it might have been 23. I went I went back to Baltimore and we had the documentary mm-hmm. and he was there. I don't, but I don't know what Tim is right now. But yeah, it was funny because to my ear, it sounded like me was talking. And it just goes to show you, you don't know who's watching you. Because all, all the things that I had been saying in training camp, all the mannerisms, Ocho, you know, I'm just going about my business. You know, I'm right, just having, right. you know, just being me. Right. And he picked up everything. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was great. And that was the very first hard knocks. Uh, August V three R on Happy New Year, Uncle Ocho. Still got five minutes until midnight here. Have you ever considered writing a book about your life, Unc? Yes, I've been approached uh, on several occasions about writing a book, but you know what? I think sometimes, like my sister always tell, me, I couldn't even think about writing a book until my sister. You know, my as long as my sister's, you know, she ain't gonna have that. So mm. I just, but when they come to me and say, "Yeah, thank you, I appreciate it." Had sat down with a couple of uh, 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 publishing companies and even a couple of authors. I'm like, nah, Ocho, mm-hmm. some things you just take to your grave. Great, right, 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 you right. Take right, to your right. grave. Uh, oh, huh? Oh, or you get some of the stories that would have been in the book on Nightcap. So you do get some, you get some bookish stories. Yeah. But, and I know people are thinking now, if this man telling this, what does he have that he needs to take to his grave? Matter of fact, you should start sharing some of the ones that you're taking to your grave with us. Oh, oh no, oh no! Yeah, That's because why you take to your grave. Listen, we gonna we gonna take the we gonna take the story to the grave with us. You might as well share it with us. We family. Uh the big the bigums. You guys fuel my ride to and from work every day, two hours each way. Just a quick question: Two oh, hours? You, yeah, two hours yeah. each way. I hope they play in your. I hope they're playing your pretty penny. Uh, uh, will you ever touch on what happened at FS1? You mentioned Stephen A. warned you about what was happening. Mm. Now, nah, you know what? <clears throat> I thank FS1 for giving me the opportunity. Uh, for me, I wish those guys the best. Uh, obviously, Mike and I, I know Mike a very long time. He came in a couple of years before me. Uh, Sherm, who I have a relationship with, uh, who I, even when he was playing, he and I would communicate. Uh, and when he got into this business, I was one of the first people, not the first, but I was one of the people that he reached out to. I know Key a little bit, but I know the other two guys well. I wish Skip the best, but there ain't no sense in rehashing. They know what happened. I know what happened. Mm-hmm. I can hold my head up high. Um, I'm happy that I was like a cat. I landed on my feet um, mm. thanks to a lot of prayer. Uh, and Stephen A. believing in me and the people at uh, 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 ESPN from Dave Roberts to Jimmy Pataro, Bob Iger, Burke Magnus, they believed in me. And uh, put it like this, I'll just say this. 
all the noise that was reverberating, they didn't pay it any attention. So mm. I thank you guys for coming along with me. Um, Y'all still support Club Shay Shay. You support Nightcap. You support me when I show up on First Take with Stephen A. And even when I'm in his chair. So I really appreciate you guys because you make it, you make it fun. You make it worthwhile. Keith Smith says, I love the show, Uncle Nocho. Can you give, uh, give a shout out to my wife, Larika Smith, and to my daughters, Promising Kalea Smith? Uh, Larika and the two daughters, Promising Kalea. Shout out. Shout out. Hubby. What they do, family? What they do, what they do, gang? What up, twin? I don't know how, how I mean, it's always interesting. Like when you see names, like, uh, like, how do you come up with a name? How do you come up with a name? Like, I mean, you're you going to have to come up with one, with one in nine months. So, I mean, think about it. Think of something you like, something you've always <laughs> liked. You know, it, it just it just comes to you. Like, my daughter's nickname is French Fry. Because right. I, I, like you know. I like French fry, and she looked like a French fry. Oh, 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 you know, hey, I might well have one of the other smoke cooking right now. Yeah. Hey. I might well have one. Of, you know, we put everything, we cook at 350. You know, black yeah. people, you put anything in there, put it at 350, 350 and let yeah. it go. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So we put that thing in. It might be one in the oven right now. It might be. I at like 275, that. though. I, wanna, I, don't want to, I, don't want, I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to get done too quick. Okay, okay. <laughs> but well, who the, who the, who the, who the, who the, who the mammy? <laughs> I just a pappy. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Sharp says, Happy New Year. Who do you guys have it winning the college football playoff? Man, shit, boy. Man, what, what, man, you see what happened to Florida State? I did. They had all those opt outs, man. You know, they had, they, so, first of all, they okay. lost their quarterback. If the and then they like all their top, a lot of their like their top guys. Yeah. Yeah. They go so, to the NFL and they so take the, the risk. If, if the quarterback was there and all the guys didn't opt out, so the, the game would have been different? I still think Georgia wins. I don't okay. think they win 63 yeah, 3. I think they, they still win by 21. Yeah, that was, Georgia that was, loaded. Yeah. They load. They loaded. That that was they bad loaded. though. That was bad. Yeah, yeah. That was I bad. mean, think about. It. I mean, you. They beat. They beat TCU last year in the national championship game, sixty-five seven. Mm. And then they followed this up with a sixty-three-three, and they called yeah. the dogs off. You know what that means? Uh, Lil Marv said, "Don't don't judge, but if a dog is an added expense, isn't the child an added expense? You right, Lil Marv? Yeah. Who a bigger that? added expense. Who said that? Lil Marv. Lil Marv. Stop." Nope, appreciate that. Hey, Lamar, a child is not an added expense. It's an investment. Thank you. Uh, Ivan Labor said, Uncle Don't you a big fan of the show? <laughs> uh say legs open like a quarter to three is my favorite saying question. <laughs> what was the hardest transition to get used to after football? That's that's a good one. I mean, my my transition was 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 pretty much pretty much easy I, I, I was at peace my transition was a little different than than most um but i i had played long enough i was i was content i was ready for that transition uh i had no idea what i what i wanted to do um obviously i was passionate about football and outside of football only other two things that i was passionate about was gaming obviously there's a true passion of mine and cigars so at that point, I knew I was going to go into the cigar business and take it serious uh, with it being a passion of mine. And outside of that, you know, I was just going to sail into the sunset. I, I had obviously done extremely, extremely well with taking care of my chickens, my chickens being my finances, mm -hmm. uh, the, the investments I had made. So I was I, I was set. And then other opportunities started to present themselves and, you know, TV stuff and obviously being on being on here with you and 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 other other small gigs that that have that have helped me um rekindle that that flame of of exposure uh and being able to do what I love love most obviously that is talking football and and being able to share my <laughs> life my, my my life experiences so uh it's it's been a a long road for me it's been a it's been a long journey and uh, and I'm just back. I'm just just back climbing, you know, that mountain, you know, uh, where I once fell from. So it's good. I'm happy. And I'm in, I'm in a good place in good space. And that transition, it, it was it was 
It was it was tough at first. It was tough, but God damn it, we churning now. Yeah, for me the transition was very easy. Um, I was gonna come back and play. I had had my mind made up. I was gonna play fifteen years, and after fifteen years, I was gonna call it a career. CBS reached out and asked would I be interested in doing the pregame show. Mm. Um, I went, met with the execs, and had a conversation with them. And you know, they called me back. Uh, my agent called me back like a day later and says, "If you want the job, it's yours." Mm. So, and for me, that was because I was like, if I if I go back and play one more year, what's the chance that this job is going to be available in another year? Mm. So that's how I had to look at it, Ocho. I couldn't say, well, you know what? Hey, I want to play in this job. They ain't holding no job for no tight ends. Now, they don't hold a job for a quarterback. Mm -hmm. They ain't hold no job for no tight end. And then you have to understand, Ocho. And then for the most part, that's a very short life unless you're one of these, you know, for the most part, they're looking for the freshest face, the newest mm -hmm. guy to come out. If he's a quarterback and he's a hot commodity, they're right. looking to move on anyway. So mm -hmm. I got 10 years, and so my transition was fairly easy. Uh, you know, I'm a loner. I don't need a whole lot of people around. I'm not really around a whole bunch of people anyway. So I, the only thing Same. that I missed was, like, practice in the locker room, the plane mm -hmm. rides, the bus ride, you know, mm -hmm. stretching, you know, stuff like that. That's what I missed talking yeah. to do it like what we do right now. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine Ocho and I having a conversation and you guys are in. Can you imagine what what I was like in a locker room? Like boy. <laughs> hey, I, was, I was I was nothing but fun. That that and so nothing and that's what, you know a lot of my friends like man my they, their friends and family asked them say man what was he like? What he like on that show? Times mm -hmm. 10. <laughs> <laughs> But that that but that was it, Ocho. That was you know that's what that's what you miss. I mean, I didn't miss the games. I mean, the money. Oh, obviously, you know. But no, I I was making I was making good money at CBS, and so I had taken care of my money. My kids were gonna be situated with straight. Everything was taken care of. I'd already set aside them going to college. Had already set money aside that this is what I was gonna be have to pay. Now I gotta you know. Now I'm not in the NFL. Mm -hmm. I gotta you know. I gotta pay for you know medical and health benefits. So, yeah. uh, but it was, it was cool, man. It was, it was great. And, uh, I have a look back, uh, with the exception of the two years between, um, CBS and, and Fox, I've been working since 2004. So we coming up on 21 years with the exception Ooh. of two years that I missed. So 19 years I've had a, a job in, in television. So, uh, Calvin Dickerson said, happy new year, Uncle Nocho. What should the NFL do about the refs who blew the call for the Lions? Well, if Adam Schefter reporting is to be true, they right. got downgraded and there's a great chance they're going to miss the playoffs. Cause remember I told you, Ocho, that's probably really the only way you can punish him is yeah, that you know, you, you go, you miss the playoffs. Yeah. You can't, you can't mess up a game like that. You can't no. mess up a game like that, especially with playoff implications mm -hmm. at, uh, on, on hand, obviously with Detroit supposedly supposed to be winning that game. Obviously yeah. if, if the call uh -huh. is standing correctly, you, you can't mess up a game like that, man. That, that That's ridiculous. I, I felt, I felt bad. I felt really bad. Yeah, and so yeah, and it looks like you see there's a video floating around that that seems like uh Decker, uh the the tackle that reported seemed like mm -hmm. he mouthed something to Brad Allen yeah. and Brad Allen said mm -hmm. uh, he got it, and yeah. then you hear uh Dan Campbell says I told him before the game. A prime example: Matt Lafleur told the official before the game that if we win if we win the toss, we're going to mm -hmm. defer. Right. And I think they won the toss. Carolina won the toss. Mm -hmm. And what you call him said, nah, we want to defer. <laughs> he said, and, and referee said, nah, 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 you want to you want to receive the ball. Right. Because had he not, uh Carolina would have got the ball to start the game and to start the second half. So normally, and that's what they <laughs> do. Sean Payton went to the officials and they onside kick. Be, be, be alert. Right. So that's normally what the coaches do. So yeah, it's a bad, it's not a good look. Uh, we won't, we really won't know what uh, what's going, what really happened because he's gonna say no. Mm -hmm. Um, they re they didn't report. He said seventy reported. Seventy said I didn't say anything. Decker said I reported. What happened was they ran both guys, so mm -hmm. Dallas doesn't know. So it's supposed to be uh, they're confused. 
Right. But it looks like the only person that got confused, not only did Dallas get confused, the ref got confused also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it ended up being a situation where possibly cost them a game. Uh, Green Cuban said, Happy New Year, Uncle Ocho and the team. Got a question. What cars would you or do you have in your collection? You know, I got that BM. I got a BMW EV. Uh, uh, I got a Range. Mm. And uh, I got that uh, the Black Ghost. I got the the Dodge that uh that Challenger. Ooh, uh, last, so that's it. Simple. Man. But I love you know the EV EV. I be that EV a run. Yeah. Yeah, man. Think real nice too. I mean, well, I ain't really got no. I I used to have, but what you used I, to have? What you have? I know. I remember you had them uh, them Chevys. Yeah, I, I, I them Chevy, them, them them Chevys that had a 71, 72, 73. Um during during that time, obviously uh, I remember I had a Hummer when Hummer first came yeah. out. Had a Rolls Rolls obviously Rolls Royce, had a Phantom during that time. Um Dodge Ram. Something about Dodge Ram. I don't know why I had a Dodge Ram, but I had a Dodge Ram uh Ferrari. Obviously I had a Lamborghini. But I thought um, you was cheap. I, yeah, all this was all this was uh with TV money. That none of this had to do with with uh what I was making on the field. This is all it's the still stuff your money that field. you spent, right? Right, but it's, it was extra for me. It was extra. Oh, and um, I'm you know, glad I ain't got no I think, TV I think money. I think two thousand nine was it two thousand nine or two twenty ten. I leased a Bugatti for a year, which was I always wanted. I wanted that experience of what it was like to own a supercar. That that was cool. I remember one of the fines I got. One of the fines I got. Uh, during during the preseason, I tweeted in the middle of a game on the sideline, and the NFL fined me twenty five grand, and that twenty five grand really affected one of my Bugatti payments. You know, for that month, um, I never forget that. And I tweeted, I tweeted it out. I'm sure the tweet is still up there. We can probably go to that for reference. Um, and that's it. And then when I when I probably when I got to I got rid of everything at one point. I had I had everything for maybe two years. Uncle. Maybe for two years, I got rid of everything. And obviously, I got my smart car in 2006, which was my main car. And every time I hit 10,000 10, miles, I get a new smart car. So I'm on my like my fifth smart car now. That's still my main car driving. Bro, you, a, drive that, you, drive that thing about seven, you drive that thing about seven years before you get 10,000 miles in that little ass car. No, 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 no. You can't go for 42 I, I, miles I an hour. I, Come on, don't do me like that. Don't don't do me like don't that. That's a good quality car. I get fifty five miles at the gallon. I can park anywhere. Uh, it, it's good on gas. Um, good on the freeway. It's, it's just it's just a good car in general. Man, it's I really, wouldn't take that car on the free world. I, I know you wouldn't. You know they don't respect it here in the states, but it's 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 very sought after in in Europe, obviously because the, the roads are much smaller. You in the states? You know, the, the no, but I, it's it's good for me because it's efficient. It's cost efficient. It cost me thirteen thirteen dollars to fill up. Thirteen dollars to fill up, I get fifty five miles to the gallon. Do you know what that's like? And I, I have that. I still have my smart. That's my main car, and I have a suburban, and that, that, that's it. Sherelle, Sherelle, fancy. William, ass. thank you for ordering the bottle of Laporte. I really appreciate that. Appreciate that, William. Sherelle, fancy ass with the goddamn Maybach and and Mercedes, and now she want to um the Bentley GT uh some some new. It's new, some new. And you gonna get it? Who gonna get it? You. No, I ain't man, I ain't spending the money she finna get it. Hey Rail, you want me to tell you what we paying? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Rail, he got it, Rail. He got it. Mm -mm. Don't let mm -mm. it fool you, Rail. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. I ain't got, I know I know one thing. I told you for my birthday I'm finna act a fool though. What you gonna get? What you gonna yeah, get? I'm, I'm, tell I'm, the chat what you about to get. I'm I'm a I'm gonna act, can I, let me let me show you something real quick. Hold on, watch this. this just so you know, I ain't playing. I went, I went to the. Hold on, watch this. Hold on, hold on. Okay. What are you going to get? Ain't no telling. You're probably gonna come back with some electric bicycle. Cheap ass. We got happy new year. Oh, black president said, Oh, 
I used to love your take on politics when you were FS1. Do you think Murdoch's didn't like your takes on certain issues? Nah, uh, they never told me what I could. I, I, now, I will say I was surprised that they let me go where I wanted to go. They never tell me I, I couldn't say this or I had to say that. So kudos to them. No, because if you remember. What? You see what he got? Hey. My birthday, right? Yeah, I'm you going, been saving? I'm going, I'm going, yeah, I'm going to pay cash. Cash money? I'm going to pay cash for it. Um, listen, you know, I don't I don't spend no money. I don't know, I don't spend no money now, but yeah. I'm gonna treat myself. I got me about what is here? I can I can only I can only grab a little bit. It's about it's about two hundred, I think about maybe two, three hundred thousand. Yeah. I'm finna act a fool. I'm finna act a fool. But I'm finna be fifty six. I'm finna act a, I'm finna act a plum fool. Hold on. Let me put this back before she come back. <laughs> she probably watching you in the chat. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he be talking about. He just just a little bit. I don't know what he go buy. He must be trying playing on buying an island or an airplane. <laughs> hey, hey, my birthday coming up. I'm feeling good too. I'm finna be 56. I'm finna I'm finna treat myself. What you, you what told... you think? What you what you think real? What you think real gonna get you? Huh? She gonna try, she gonna, man, she gonna try to outdo me. I don't, I don't, I don't she like that. She gonna try to outdo you on your own birthday? Yeah. She gonna try to outdo me. She try, try to stunt. I mean, man, we we know. I mean, I understand she's the breadwinner right now. Uh, obviously, I appreciate everything that she does. But the fact that I'm so simple. I'm so simple. And she goes outside of the, per the parameters in what I like. And doing things that are extreme. Which is cool. Which is cool. But this would be the first time for my birthday I treat myself and do something outside the box and outside the norm in which I normally do. So I went, I went, I went and went, I went and took five hundred thousand out, and I'm finna, I'm finna enjoy myself. I'm finna. You spent the whole five hundred? Yeah, I took it out. I took it out. I, I want to know. I want to know what it feel like. I, I could use. Hold on, hold on. I could hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Make sure I could use. Right, hold on. I could have used that, right? Yeah. I could have used that. But I want to know. you got a black heart. Yeah. I'm going to have a call. My guy, my guy that one of the big wigs, though, I might call him have to revoke you and say, uh, uh, uh. No, I don't do that. <laughs> but I want to I, I want to know if I, I, I've been working hard, man. I've been working hard. Yeah, you have. And, and be, and be, yeah, you have. Absolutely. Because of you and because of some, some other blessings, because of Doug, Ryan, I appreciate y'all. You know, they put me in a position to be able to, to treat myself in a way I never had before, even though I had the means to do it. And I think for my birthday this year, for the first time, I'm I'm going I'm going to treat myself, and I'm excited. I'm excited. And I want I want to do it the way the rappers do it. I want to know what it feel like to go somewhere and be carrying cash and and pay for a cash and be like, you know what, I got this and I did it the right way. I I got this the right way, and just and just walk out of there with a smile on my face. That must be nice. I ain't I ain't gonna get nothing that cost that right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you just got I'm... a BMW EV. What you talking about? Nice to the M70. Top of the how, line. How much that cost? I'm just asking. I don't know. I don't know about number. 20,000? M70. Top I know. Of the line, EV. Got me a little screen in the back. I'm going to have Jordan drive me around. Wait. You ain't tell me how much it cost. I just see you, the, you gave me the peace sign. Yeah. It cost 200? Damn. That, 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 do it talk like the Jetsons? It do. For real? Hey, you know what I want for my birthday? What? I want an Alexa. You ever, you ever had an Alexa? Nah, they, they, they hold too much information. Listen, I went to Vegas, right? For yeah. F1? They had Alexa in my room. I said, Alexa, who is Chad Johnson? Man, Alexa knew everything about me. <laughs> I, I ain't got no I ain't got no Alexa. I got a Keisha in my room. <laughs> <laughs> and she be talking to. You say, come on over here, Daddy. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Stone, man. Nah, Ocho, that thing be holding up too much information, man. They be nah, they be here listen to your conversation. For real? Yeah. I mean, what if you ain't doing nothing wrong? Ain't nothing. You know, I, I, I don't do nothing wrong. I just for some reason I really enjoyed. I ain't know nothing about Alexa, nigga. I'm, I'm with real. I say, baby, look, listen. I say, Alexa, play Beethoven. Whatever it is, mm -hmm. Beethoven, come right on. Alexa, play Frank Sinatra. Uh, fly me to the moon. It play it. Yeah, man. I ain't know nothing about no Alexa until I went to Vegas for F one. Do I was so excited, I'm like baby, how much these shits cost? She like fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Yeah. Boy, this is state of the art shit, and it only costs fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you get that's that's how you know I don't get out the house much because she's sitting here laughing, like how you don't know about Alexa? How I'm yeah. supposed to know about Alexa? I don't go nowhere if it ain't got <laughs> nothing to do with video games. How I know if it ain't got nothing to do with <laughs> soccer or football? How the hell I'm gonna know about goddamn Alexa? <laughs> I love I, I, I love these people in the chat telling me what I like. It's amazing. People mm -hmm. tell me what I like and have never seen me with anybody. Oh, oh, I seen you with somebody. I seen you with somebody, and you will see me again. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see you. I seen you with somebody. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just give the initials. Can I give the initials? Yeah. Uh, N M. Letter N. M. Boy, the, re the, the real deal. Holy feel. Oh, man. Stop. Hey, boy, listen. But between between you and me, let me take my glasses off. And a, a true, a soldier salute. Wow. A, a soldier salute. <laughs> the real <laughs> deal. But we're going to go ahead and get up get up off of that, boy. Yeah. Boy. But I, but I love it, man. I love <laughs> People have never seen me. Right. They, but you see, that's how, you know, people, you, when people hear a lie, right. once you hear it so much, you believe it to be true. Mm, so when I people like say something, when they repeat something over and over, mm -hmm. and repetitions of a lie doesn't make it true. Ooh. I just don't have the time. I just don't have the time to chase it down. Because right. my thing is, you know, hey, why should I chase a lie? Mm. What, what do I prove? Okay, I proved that I dated X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. what do you got out of that right you just want to know my business that's what that is y'all want to know my business yeah. so but uh, <laughs> uh Calvin says oh, Ocho which would you rather be in the NFL uh, NFL owner or coach which one is more stressful oh coach he's the only one that can get fired <laughs> Wait, you want to you want to be a coach? No, of the I would owner? rather be the owner. Oh, the, well, the, the coach say. is more. You no, know, he says which is more stressful. Uh, the the coach is more stressful. The owner ain't going nowhere. Yeah, He's the only ever. one he can't lose his job. Yeah, yeah. And he never take a loss. Tell me the owner that purchased the club and lost money when he sold it. Never. <laughs> I mean, never. Daniel Snyder. He bought it. He bought it. Uh, from Jack Cook. Cook he bought the Washington team. For eight hundred million and ninety nine, he mm -hmm. just sold it for six and a half billion. Crazy work. So in twenty four years, <laughs> six fold, seven fold, yeah. So nah, nah. I'd rather be a, I'd rather be an owner. Elijah Green said, Uncle Nocho, can you give my aunt Bridget uh, a shout out? She's a cancer survivor. Bridget, congratulations on beating that deadly, ugly, awful disease. Uh, Hopefully you 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 remain in remission and you have a long continuous healthy life. Appreciate it, Elijah. Hey, All right, Bridget. Prayers. Congrats. Prayers to you, Miss Aunt Bridget. Uh, peace, peace, Uncle Ocho. Love watching the show. Y'all are dynamic duo. What's some advice you have for a young man as elders on how to be the best one can be? Peace and blessing. The best one can be peace and blessings. Mm. Go ahead. I mean, being the best you could be. I mean, obviously, you you got you got to be find something you're passionate about first. Find something you're passionate about, and you lock in on it. Lock in on that, and try to achieve greatness in that area, even if you fall short. 
even if you fall short, you're going to succeed at whatever it is that you like. I mean, and, and when it comes to being the best at what you do, it has to be something that you enjoy and something that you like. Yeah. That's the only thing I can think of. You know, it's hard, yeah, I, me, it's hard to give me advice on how you can be great, but you got to figure out what it is that you like. Figure out what your niche is. What's your niche? What are you good well, at? What are you great at? For me, I... Yeah, I like being uh, Ocho. I, I, I'll be honest. I like being good at a lot of things, mm -hmm. but I think it's better to be good at being a person. Sometimes mm -hmm. people get caught up in being good at a job or a task, mm -hmm. but be awful human beings. Mm -hmm. I believe you can be both. I think it's now obviously you know you're not you can't you're not going to be everybody's friend. Especially mm -hmm. when you're trying to to run a business, um, you have to make tough decisions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're gonna have to let some people go. You're gonna have to reassign some people, and that's never fun. Especially people that you brought on in the first place, yeah. Or you've established a, a relationship with. Um, but like you say, I'm a firm believer that if you if money will come, mm -hmm. if you enjoy what you're doing. You won't consider it work and you'll look up and you've accumulated a lot of what you didn't think you could. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I get up, I go to bed, I say my prayer, I get up and try to be a better person today than I was yesterday. I try to treat people like I would want to be treated. Uh, I, I realize everybody can't be a CEO, but your job title has nothing, no bearing on the way I treat you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing. Ocho, I tell you, you know what? I got up this morning and uh, mm -hmm. I went and got some breakfast. And a guy was at the table and he was talking to himself. Uh, and uh, talking to himself. And so I, I'm, I'm ordering the lady that I always go in there. She always takes my order. And he's like, he pointed. He's like, hey, you, you, I, I, I know you. And he smiled. And I'm thinking to myself, I was like, bro, It did my heart good mm. because obviously, you know, he's not, he wasn't in the best conditions, mm -hmm. but he like, you, you, I know you. And I nodded, I smiled and I nodded at him and, uh, and he, he went back to doing what he was doing, but it, but, uh, I think that's, and I think that came from my grandmother is that, you know, you treat everybody because you never know, Ocho. Mm -hmm. you, you you never know. I mean, you're up here today. You can be down here tomorrow. Yeah, and man. the person that you're up here and the person down here and all of a sudden the roles switch, reverse. Because mm -hmm. I've always tried, I, I've always tried to, uh, you know, divorce my ego mm -hmm. and to see myself as someone else. And that's what you have to do. That's what empathy allows you to do. It will allow you to divorce your ego and to see yourself as someone else. Right. Fortunate, not as fortunate, down on their luck, mm -hmm. family having problems. But a lot of people don't think they're too prideful and don't think things can happen to them. And so I've always, my grandmother always would, would she was very, very big on that, mm -hmm. of treating people well, regardless of their situation, because you don't know. You know, she's like, she used to always tell me one of her favorites, say, boy, you'll never know who you'll ask to hand you your last drink of water. Mm. And so that resonated with me. And like, okay, it don't take anything to, you know, to treat somebody nice. Hey, how you doing? Be courteous, be respectful. Mm -hmm. Because I would want that. And, you know, you never know. Cause I, but also, Ocho, I see, you know, for me, I see, you know, I see my grandmother, my great grandmother, my mother. Because I got a mother. I got a sister. I got kids. I got daughters. I got a son. Mm -hmm. And I don't want someone to treat them a certain type of way because they're not up here. Mm. So I don't treat other people just because they're not up here. I take time. Hey, how you doing? Even if I'm in a hurry, I'm respectful. I'll acknowledge it. Hey, how you doing? Even if I'm in a hurry, I might not stop and sign or take the picture, but I'll at least acknowledge it, throw my hands up and hey, how you doing? And, and keep it moving. But it it did my it did my heart good today to see that young, that, 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 that gentleman. And he was just like, he was like, I don't know if he actually knew my name, but he's like, I know, I know you. I've seen you. I I know you, and so it, that that made that made me feel pretty good. Ocho, mm. does it does does you not being in the hall 
yet bother you. Love the show. You deserve to be there. Nah, nah, it don't, it don't bother me. It don't, not, it don't bother me. Uh, obviously, Hall of Fame is one of the highest, the highest achievement, the the highest achievement you you can receive from obviously your peers and those voters that that put you in. But if if you if you follow me throughout my career, and obviously, I've always played the game my way. I had fun. I I remained my authentic self. Um, if my focus was the Hall of Fame. I think I would I would have conducted myself in a different manner. I would have conducted myself in a way of obviously not uh, putting the jacket on, mocking you know the Hall of Fame. Um, it just it just it's, it's one. I'm just one of the few players who has an identity outside of just football. Mm-hmm. Where I to me I think I really don't need the jacket. My peers know. You know what I did when I played, those that played against me, those that have coached against me. And I've always been always I've always been content. I've I've always been content. And I, I think, you know, the Hall of Fame, obviously it is a is a tremendous accomplishment, but it's not the end all. Especially no. when the resume itself speaks for itself. Um and I didn't conduct myself in a way where the Hall of Fame would really want someone that made the game fun and entertaining and, and kind of not made fun of the hall of fame, but kind of mocked it in a sense, you know, putting on his own jacket in the middle of a game. And I was okay with that because I, I never, I never needed validation. I was never, never one that really, really seeked it or needed it. And I just, I, I just had fun playing the game and that was it. Dr. Frankie L. Bell- Bellamy, are you a fan of making resolutions or do you prefer, prefer setting specific goals for an upcoming year um for me like you know a lot of people do diets i don't do lot diets because diets have a start and stop date Mm. i have a lifestyle i have a healthy lifestyle i eat a certain way i live a certain way um are there goals that i want to accomplish sure absolutely uh even when i played i had goals i want to do x y and z Mm -hmm. okay what was the best way for me to go about it um and uh, that's that's the way. But I think it's it's good to have goals. Uh, they need to be out of the world. Mm-hmm. I like to I aim for the stars. And even if I just land on the moon, I'm still pretty high up. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't set, you know. I set things that I, I sometimes I don't I'm like, man, can I achieve? I'm like, hey, F it. I'm gonna put it out there anyway. Because I believe I believe if I set my mind to something. Mm hmm. God has given me the the discipline and the dedication and the determination that I can focus mm-hmm. and I can have a singular, I can have a singular focus. It's almost like layers. It's like layers. I'm talking about like government tracking. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I want. I'm gonna go do it. Yeah. I'm gonna go get it. Yeah. And, and if I don't know how to, I don't have a problem asking people, mm-hmm. what do you think about this? Right. What's the best way I should go about that? So I've been very fortunate uh, over the last six months to meet a lot of people that that have helped me and says, I think you should do this. I think you should do that. You're going about this the right way. But mm-hmm. if there's anything I can do to help you, if I can put you in touch, contact with people. Mm-hmm. And this, in this space that we operate in, it's all about relationships. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's and, about. And never burn bridges. Because you never know who you're gonna need on the back end. Never burn bridges. Nope. I I, I, I like I like that. Something my grandma always taught me. For those that struggle with with structure, for those that struggle with discipline, when it comes to setting goals, especially New Year's resolutions, most of the time, ninety nine percent of the people that set a resolution never never stick to it. Never keep up no. with it because it's very very difficult to maintain a certain goal over an extended period of time. Very, very mm-hmm. difficult. And think right. about everybody that's in the chat. Think about a goal that you set, and you were great at it. Maybe the first month, maybe the first first two months. But to maintain that discipline and structure to actually attain a goal over a year span, eh, not likely. Right. Not likely. I'm just I'm just right. being honest. So well, what I sure. think what I what I think most should do is set small goals in between. Right. Have a goal set for a month, and extend once you reach that month. Try two months. When you reach two months, try three months. And at some point, as you continue to do it over a month span, a four-month span, a six-month span, then 
it becomes habit. It becomes yeah. habit. And it becomes a, a, a part of a part of routine, and not it doesn't feel we, forced. If they, we if that are, makes sense. Ocho, we are what we repeatedly do. Yeah. So what yeah. do you do the most? Mm -hmm. That's what you are. Are right, yeah. That's who you are. Mm -hmm. It's really that simple. Yeah. What do you do the most? Mm -hmm. You know, and it only I, take it only take thirty days to do some thirty days consecutively before it becomes a habit. It only it takes thirty days to do something consecutively over and over and over before it becomes a habit. But here's the thing, Ocho. And here's the thing, while like me being disciplined, mm -hmm. it's easy for me because I've been disciplined my entire life. Right. Because what happens is if you're not careful, you mm -hmm. can do something. But when you get in a stressful situation, you'll revert back to what you know. Mm -hmm. It's called muscle memory. Yeah. That's why with a person that has a nice body and all of a sudden they're like, man, they let himself go. And then they start working out again. And right. then it's like, well, damn, how did that? Because the body knows. Mm-hmm. You'll revert back. We've seen guys. I give you an example, and this is not, I'm not taking a shot at Tebow, but mm -hmm. if you just watch Tebow just throwing the ball, yeah, he could just throw the ball. Just like it, with shorts and T, he just throwing it. He's mm -hmm. just throwing it. Mm -hmm. But when he got in a stressful situation, he would revert back. Yeah. Because you'll revert back to what you know. What mm -hmm. do I feel most comfortable in? Right. That's why, that's why it's so hard. When a guy comes out, comes out, comes home, he's like, I ain't never going back. He get into a stressful situation, Ocho. Yeah. What does he or she do? They go back to what? Rooting back to what they know, to your old ways. Yeah. You got to. And, and so, at, at that point, it, it's, it's survival at yeah. that point. And so that's the thing, you know, and like you said, don't burn bridges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The toes you step on today might be on the foot, connected to the leg that leads to the butt you got to kiss tomorrow. Boy. You got to be careful how you treat people, Ocho. You got to. Very you important. Don't know, you don't know. Very you important. You don't know who today might be somebody tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And people are like, well, he should. I was like, these referees, when you talk to them crazy, mm -hmm. these voters mm -hmm. in the hall, when you talk to them crazy, yeah. they are human. Yeah. Oh, he's got to remove. He got. How do you take the human element? Out of human. Right. That's what makes you human. Right. Which is the human frailty, the human element mm -hmm. of being human. That's why I just look, man. I'm just a guy, Ocho. If I don't, if I don't fool, if I don't fool with people, I just don't fool with them, Ocho. Right. I don't go around them. I don't, mm -hmm. if somebody talking about somebody and I don't fool with them, I just go ahead and remove myself from the conversation. Right. That, that, I ain't got nothing. To, I ain't got nothing good or bad or indifferent. I just choose not to bring your name up. Right. And, I, and and there are people like that. There are people. I mean, that I just don't. They name. I'm gone. Hey man, did I say something? Nah, I'm good, bro. You know, hey, I just see. Yeah, I saw so you such that I want want to talk to somebody. That, that's just the way I do it, Ocho. Right. Right. I ain't got right. time to talk. man. Look here, man. I'm I'm about to be 56. I got kids and grandkids. What I look talking about somebody. Yeah, and one on the way, but go ahead. And, and, and talking about what? Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to I'm trying to do something big and I'm sitting down there talking about somebody? Gossip. That can't no. no, 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 no. Yeah. That nah. ain't gonna work. That, that, ain't gonna that work. absolutely not gonna work. Again, please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um Make sure you subscribe to the Nightcast podcast feed. You can also get it through Club Shay Shay. And remember, this Wednesday, Club Shay Shay, the first episode of 2024. It's a banger. Mm. It's a banger. We've also pinned Shay by Laportier at the top Jeez. of the chat. Go ahead and order yourself a bottle for you or someone that you love. Uh, the Packers beat the Vikes 33-10. Baltimore Ravens hammer the Dolphins 56 19. Cardinals Woo! beat the Eagles, which now gives Dallas the inside track to the NFC East crown and the number two seed. And with the Cardinals beating the Eagles, the San Francisco 49ers sew up the top seed in the NFC, uh, in the NFC, not the South, the top seed in the NFC. Be very interesting how they play this last game. 
They play the Rams at home. If I'm not mistaken, the Rams need that win in order to make the playoffs. Am I correct, Ash? Uh, David Tepper, there's a video has surfaced of David Tepper. Uh, looks like he's throwing a drink at the ja at a Jaguars fan during today's game in which they lost uh, his Carolina Panthers. He's the owner of the Carolina Panthers. The Bears the Rams clinch. Okay, so the Rams going to be interesting what the Rams do because they clinch the playoff win. Wait, they they uh they what? 7, seven no, 6 seed, 6 or 7 seed. Uh the Rams, what are they? The 6? The what you call them can make it too. Can't uh no, I think they got to blow uh think the Steelers beating them really hurt them. Woo! The Rams are the six seed. The Rams are the six seed. Yeah, I, I, I thought I was right. Yeah. Rams are the six seed. Oh, yeah. Again, we we'll to make sure you give you this information. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. We appreciate uh, it. Really appreciate it. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the Nightcast, Nightcap podcast feed. You can get it through the Nightcap feed. It's all through, also through Club Shay Shay. Uh, Club Shay Shay will have a new episode, and that's going to be up at noon Eastern, nine Pacific. And it's a it's a heater. It's a two hours, what two and a half hours, Jordan? Two and a half hours. You got of you nonstop. Got work, huh? You got to work tomorrow. No. For real. <laughs> I ain't got to work the ball. I got a flight. I got a flight in the morning, man. You got to work flight in the morning. I got a flight. Fly to Philly. I got to do inside the NFL. Oh, man, I'm excited. I can't wait. Yeah. Oh, well, hold on. But you only got like another what? Oh, you got a ways to go because you got the playoffs. So you got another month. Yeah, that's fine. Because and I, then y'all and I, then you I, are y'all do I, are y'all going I on enjoy. location? Are y'all are y'all going to do uh at the Super Bowl or are y'all going to do in Mount Laurel? You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It would be nice. We might as well, since I, I'm assuming everybody's going to be in Super Bowl. So it would be nice to just do it, do it from out there. I'm not sure if they can. Mm -hmm. Yep. That would be dope. Happy New Year, everyone that joined us. We want to thank you for joining us. I love y'all. This was the last episode of 2023. This is the first episode heading into 2024. Even though we ended 23, we headed to 24. And uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, everything that we've been able to do in 23, we look forward to doing it bigger and better in 24, but it's all because of you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for jumping in the chats, chat, letting us know what we need, what we can do better, what we can improve on, because at the end of the day, it's all because of you. You're the audience. You tell us what you like. You tell us what you don't like, and we try to cater to you, but even in catering to you, we still have to be authentic. We still have mm -hmm. to be ourselves. Oh, Ocho, know, we just hit 593. What real, is that, Ocho? Scotty Pippins. <laughs> they mean Scotty Pippins. I remember. Scotty Pippin wore them. It, it, it said air on the side. I remember them. Yeah. Am I wrong or am I right? He wore them, but somebody else wore them too. Charles Barkley wore them too. For real? Yeah. Hey, I don't know nothing about them. I don't but these know. are special. And why are these special? Ocho, 593. Ocho, we almost got it. We almost got it, Ocho. But we're gonna we gonna we gonna hit 600. We're gonna hit 600 by um tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow night. Yeah. Oh, that's that, dope, that, that's the goal to hit uh by tomorrow night. That's and that's uh that's we're trying to be, we're trying to be, we're trying to be 800 by the time we hit the Super Bowl. That's our goal. 800 by the time we hit the Super Bowl. Boy, that's crazy, boy. We doing crazy work. Crazy. Oh, it's only, gonna, it's only gonna get better. You know, your uncle out here having all these meetings trying to get it, bro. I'm trying to, yeah. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get bigger and better. I'm it's ready. gonna be an, an, an improve and uh, you know I'm working. I'm working. Don't think I ain't working. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who playing that? What? You hear music? Oh. 
Yeah, that was my phone. Oh. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for spending your early 2024 with Nightcap Unk and Ocho. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85 route runner extraordinaire. Bengals legend, legend. ring of honor, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for allowing us to share your evening with you. See you soon. Happy New Year.